Hey guys, Fia back again with another Twitch VOD. This one's a big one. It's gonna have to be split into two parts. So this is part one. Uh, this is from the 12th of March, and this was my belated, by two weeks, six year anniversary celebration stream. Six years live on Twitch. Ridiculous, redonkulous, amazing, incredible. Oh, it was just such a good stream. We had so many giveaways. A, a, a bit of fishing. I'll I'll let you watch. <laughs> if you want to catch me live, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. If you would like to see when I'm going live in your time zone, add a slash schedule to the end of that. And uh, you'll see everything nice and converted because I suck at time zones. <laughs> if you scroll down into the description box below, you will find all my social links, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. In particular, I'm trying to focus on Instagram at the moment. So if you don't mind throwing me a follow, I would very much appreciate it. Until next time, enjoy the VOD. Hello. Hello! What is going- oh, have I got the zoom on? I think I do. Give me a second. Camera looks weird. Oh no, and now it has the- God damn it. <laughs> this! This is the pot filter for my microphone. Uh, let me just... We're good! We're good. Hello! Greetings. Everything is weird because... Uh, because the sun is out, and I don't usually stream while the sun is out. I think that's about as good as I'm going to get it at the moment. Okay. Hello. Greetings. Greetings. I did see that we've just had a raid. I was kerfuffling with all sorts of stuff, so give me a second. Let me have little bit of a... Right, so. Well done, Yori, on last. Nano with second. Didn't forget about today, not one bit. Good, neither did I. Uh, <laughs> um, hello, Dory. Hello, Shorpa. Hello, Jacko. Um, uh, well done to X on third. And, of course, with a boogie and a bajillion hydrates. Hello, Sika. The captions are on. Thank you, bot. Uh... Are we? Hello, Sandra. There's no raid. Was it a host? Did you do a host and not a raid, Sandra? Because I know that Twitch's host notifications are broken and they have been for weeks. And there's no raid notification. So I'm going to guess that you did a host, not a raid. But that's okay. Welcome on in. How is your stream? How are you doing? Hello, Morbid. Welcome on in. Read you again. Fantastic. Welcome on in. Hello, No Life. Ah, uh, glorious start of the weekend. I am. I had a bagel for breakfast. We start now. Hello, Ali. Hello, Chaos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, fear is late. Just a little bit. I'm, uh... I had some issues with my makeup. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I had some I had some technical difficulties, but with the face stuff today. Um, but it's okay. It is what it is. I have placed my unit. Have I disconnected again? No, phenomenal. I also had a couple disconnects. It was really strange. Um, so I'm gonna close that and we're gonna go here. Make sure you place your units in the battle. Six years, thank you, Sika. Excuse me, you look like you're ascending. No, it's just daylight. <laughs> it's just daylight. Um, thank you, Ted. Much appreciated. Six years. I know. How ridiculous is that? So the actual official date, Jas will be able to verify because I can never remember. But I am fairly certain it is the 24th of February. So we've had, I had some false starts. So its official date was the 24th of Feb. So we were supposed to be doing this on the 26th of Feb. But I was so sick that I couldn't speak. I ended up on a 10 day course of antibiotics because I was so sick. Uh, and then the 5th of March, we had no power. We did, we did have power, but it was generator power because we were affected by the Brisbane floods. Uh, no basement parking, no power, 
no nothing like everything went kablamo like it was the, the half of our street was underwater um so we were just we were incredibly lucky that we didn't have to evacuate incredibly lucky that we ourselves were not underwater jess's car was safe all of our stuff was safe uh, we, we acted quickly and were able to get um, some bags of ice into my chest freezer, which we used as a refrigerator, which was really great. None of the ice actually melted. That's how effective it was as a fridge, which is phenomenal. Um, some of the stuff we put in there to keep cold actually got a little bit frozen. So I'm like, oh, it's amazing. Um, but yeah, so like, obviously we did by, by Saturday, by the 5th, we did have power, but it was generator power. And on generator power, because it's serving an apartment building with hundreds of people in it, there's only so much you can do with it, otherwise you'll overload the generator. So we couldn't use the aircon in 30 plus degree heat, it was great. Uh, we sat around in underpants. Uh, <laughs> we could use a pedestal fan, so I pulled that out and we used that instead. Um, we couldn't use the dryer, like the clothes dryer, so all of our laundry. I, I did a couple of loads of laundry because I've only got a small clothes source and they took three days to dry. Um, <laughs> like it just, um, life was, was a little, no dishwasher. So we hand washed everything just cause you know, we did anything we could to save power, which meant no, no, so, like they're not soft boxes, but no key lights, no, no lights in the background. Um, it does take my computer a fair bit more in it. Like we, we, we were able to use the PCs to do a little bit of gaming to keep ourselves occupied. Um, uh, but I couldn't use it to like render the images and then send them up to just all that kind of stuff. It was just off. And so this is, this is, it's two weeks late, but we're here. <laughs> and I am, I'm so thankful that I'm here. Um, six years. Six years. I'm 32. I started streaming just after I turned 26. Uh, and even at that point, I was pretty old compared to a lot of the streamers that were on the platform. And so now it's like, you know, I mean, obviously in the last few years, we've seen uh, quite a few of the older generations jump onto the streaming uh, bandwagon, which is awesome to see. Uh, but I always do feel a little bit like I'm out of place, like I'm like I'm too old for this, or I'm too too like mature or whatever. But hey, I'm having an absolute blast. I have been for years, and I really hope that I'll continue to do so. Like over the last six years, uh, we we've grown the community. I've now got what uh, currently sitting at eight thousand seven hundred and fifteen followers. Um, we, we've got. A community, like the community, the, the the core group who has been who who's here nearly every stream has changed multitudes of times over the years. People come in, people go. Obviously, over the course of six years, lives change, and you know, jobs change, and God, country you live in, and time zones change, and so um, some people have dropped off, new people have discovered us. Especially in the last year, the last year has seen so much change for this community, this channel, my life, my life, like I, if you'd asked me six years ago if, if this would get to this point, I would have laughed at you. But if you'd even have asked me about what I've accomplished in the last year, a year ago, I would have been like, yeah, sure, absolutely, we're definitely going to do that, but I wouldn't have believed it. And yet here we are, a year of being featured on the Battle.net launcher. A partnership with Logitech, <laughs> um, a, a partnership with uh, Bubble Tea Club and, and Mellow Cosmetics and uh, like just all of these beautiful things that have happened and I wouldn't have been able to do any of it without you guys. Every single one of you. Because you know, I mean, yeah okay, 75 viewers to get partner, right? But each of those 75 people is, is an individual human, and you're one of them, and that's enormous. So, <laughs> community challenge, 75% complete, phenomenal, wonderful, but yeah, it's, it's all your fault, and I thank you deeply and truly and honestly, like, thank you so much for all of the support that all of you have offered, whether you've been here for a couple of days, a couple of weeks, a couple of months, a couple of years, or the whole bloody time, Jas. Thank you to all of you for everything. I'm living my dream life, mostly, and uh, we're almost there. 
almost there and it's all your fault <laughs> oh, thank you all for the well wishes hey ventu welcome on in flame Nurasuri, thank you, fairy. Hopefully six more years? Bloody oath. I'll be going till I can't go anymore. Let me tell you that much. Yeah, <laughs> Seeker, well done. Well done. Post and raid. Okay, so um, you can't do both uh, via Twitch. Like, it's one or the other. Um, so if you type slash host Fiamma, the, the notifications and stuff don't work. Twitch is, it's been broken on Twitch for a few weeks now. Um, but if you do slash raid, that's what triggers all the bits and bobs and it gets like a message to say Dead Sandra is raiding with X number of viewers and blah 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 blah. Um, some bots will post a raid and a host message when a raid goes through, but it is in fact only a raid. Uh, it's just that the bots misinterpreting what's going on on the back end of Twitch. Um, but yeah, new, new learnings, right? Learn something new every day. Six years indeed, Kim. Hello, thank you. You said me first as last. I was like, hang on a minute, yeah. Twas you. Twas you. I think everyone forgot that this was today. Because I haven't been blasting it all over social media because I haven't had my stuff stuffed. <laughs> Thank you, Nano, for the congrats. Six years. I know chaos. What the hell? Hello, Gory. Things are getting better. It doesn't cause horrendous long-term issues for you. Thank you, Gory. Me too. Me too. There are some people near us who their entire lives have been uprooted because of everything that's gone on, especially people who are on like lower levels of apartment buildings closer to the water. It's just been an absolute shitstorm. Um, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm incredibly thankful and truly grateful that uh, Mother Nature spared us somewhat, at least. Um, it was terrifying, let me tell you. My first Brisbane flood, they they, they happen quite regularly in Brisbane, um, but this was my first one and I was uncomfortable, uh, to say the least. Um, <laughs> I had a go bag. I've never had an evacuation bag packed before, ever, in my life. In 32 years of life, I have never had to pack a bag in case of evacuation or having to escape quickly or, or anything like that. Um, and I had a go bag packed with a week's worth of whatever, like everything we need, week's worth of meds, week wor week's worth of clothes, um, extra socks and stuff in case of like, you know, the, the water rose quicker than we anticipated, all that kind of, like it just, <sighs> goodness gracious me, it was not fun in the slightest, but we are okay. And that is what matters. That is what I'm, yep. And step one, likely the underpants. Yep. Look at that. Double post. Thank you, Qualitron. Ashes. Phenomenal. Thank you very much for that. Oh, and my, uh, my makeup today, um, because the sunlight might be skewing the colors a little bit. Um, I've got a, like, a very, very red-brown shade, like, in my crease, and then I've got a quite dark, like, a, a silvery gray uh, over the lids, and then I have this, this color in here is blue. It's like an icy, shiny blue thing. So, there you go. Have fun. Hello, fight. Thank you, Demona. Much appreciate the well wishes. You lived in the same area as my brother's city. No, don't, like, you are under no obligation to remember where I live. Like, don't, don't stress about that. I am old. I am. Thank you, fight. Sixth year anniversary. It is never too old. It's not like you look thirty-two. You look like you're maybe twenty-four. <laughs> Makeup, camera, yeah, it's it's good. Cameras are not as good as eyes. Armored skyscraper. No. I never do some of the biggest Aussie streamers I've seen. Uh, all these well, thirty to forty. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's definitely getting there. But I have a feeling the only reason that they're in that age group now is because they started like eight, ten years ago, back when Twitch was really starting to be a thing, you know? I, I definitely missed the bandwagon on like the early adopter thing, uh, but that's okay. We're here and I'm enjoying myself. Be fantastic, Dory. I hope work goes well. Oh, interesting. Uh, the TV. Ah, oh, fantastic, Yori. No more followers need on Instagram and hit that 1k goal! You should follow Fear on Instagram, you should. Agreed. Agreed. It's assuming I'm human, huh? <laughs> Following you now just for a couple months. I tell you why. You're authentic, friendly, you invest time to communicate with your chatters. That's what I really liked here. 
Our community is cool and helpful. Absolutely. I agree. And thank you so much for the kind words, Fight. Much appreciated. This is the task of the day. Brilliant. Wonderful, Yuri. That's okay. I do I do have a couple messages from people um, regarding the sound redeems. Um, I also have been busy, surprising exactly zero people. So um, I will, uh, yeah, get on that. Uh, good morning, Nutty. Making coffee at midnight. Phenomenal. I hope it's delicious and wonderful. Nini can change things. Positive changes and negative. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a thing, hey. It's a thing. Hello, Jack. Welcome back. Hi from Alberta, Canada. Ah, oh, my Aussie friends. Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Lovely to meet you too, Dem. So close yet so far. <laughs> yes, the Shaf Arm stream. The plural Shaf Arm streams community challenge. Contribute your embers underneath chat if you would like to see Fia go two streams in a row to get through all 50. That's five zero 50 of my characters against Shah. I have a lot of them. 50 characters across two realms. <laughs> Fun times. Uh, we affected by the flood. Did it get close to your place? Yes and yes. Um, our... Uh, we've got a, like a two level basement for parking and that was completely flooded. 100% underwater, both levels. We had no power. Uh, our sewage system over like flooded um so our sewage system overflowed burst i don't know exactly what the terminology is or what exactly happened to it but everything smelled like poo uh, <laughs> we went to a yesterday finally our trash was able to be collected by the council like garbage collection um because people of course it, all the basement parking around here was flooded uh, and so people were parking wherever they possibly could and that involved blocking off access to our uh garbage to our refuse room so the um, the garbage trucks weren't able to get in to empty our garbage. So we had two weeks worth of, of garbage and um, uh, maggots and rotting everything. And just, it was, yeah, really unfortunate. Um, uh, they're currently still working on getting the mud out of the basement. Because, uh, of course, with water, if, especially when it's dirty water, it all settles. Uh, and the sediment uh coats everything and so they had to tow a bunch of dead cars out of the basement who weren't able to get them out in time and um our lift well is still out of action because it's still wet uh it got it, it suffered some damage so um they have to wait for the lift well to completely dry out before they're able to even get in there and assess the damage and then once they assess the damage they then obviously have to repair it um but because it's all electrical it has to be completely dry before they can go in there safely which is fair enough um but apart from that that's that yeah we don't have any damaged furniture or anything like that i don't think anyone in our building ended up having their actual home apartment flooded but i know there were definitely some apartments on um uh, the nearby streets that, that got flooded because we've seen apartment buildings that have mountains of uh, destroyed furniture and, and possessions out on the uh, on the curb because there's nowhere else to put it. Um, basically, I think what happens as part of the cleanup efforts, it's uh, if you guys have ever done like a have a had like a council pickup, I'm not sure what they call it in other countries, but it's basically like a, a particular weekend uh, where. The council or your local government or whatever encourages everyone to like if you do a clean out if you've got old damaged furniture white goods etc etc you put it out on the edge of the like the footpath kind of thing uh there's like you there's a you know designated area where you're able to put it so you don't block off footpaths but it's up next to the curb up next to the edge of the road um and then on the monday morning the government like the council will take the garbage trucks around and pick up anything that's sitting on the curb just anything and everything and just get rid of it uh, and they do it like once or twice a year, I think. Um, so that's kind of what it looks like. Um, just businesses and apartment buildings and individual homes and all this kind of stuff, just with piles and piles and piles of wet, well, not wet anymore, but dirty, muddy, broken stuff uh, just sitting out on the on the curb awaiting pickup. Uh, thankfully, we didn't have to do that. And I'm, I am truly grateful for that. Um... But it did get close to our place. I think the waterfront on our street was fewer than 10 meters away from our property line, I think. I'm kind of bad at judging distance, but it, I think it was about that close, about 10, 
eight to ten meters away from like the edge of the building sort of thing. Uh, is today fishing for strange group day? It is! Would you like to join me? I'm on 109 attempts. <laughs> Ground or flying? Flying, and I own it. Hey, yep. <laughs> yeah, but he's got a lot more hours than that because of the when I changed my name, when I dropped for 2-9. Yeah, I started off my career as Fiyama29. Fiyama 2-9. And uh, when I made partner, I was able to drop the numbers. But yeah, it reset the uh, it reset the hours, unfortunately. Mm, Alabaster Hina, no. Armored Blue Dragon Hawk, no. Just tell the truth, man, you don't watch fear streams, then it's okay. <laughs> You do live. Hello, Shiba. It's, it's last time. Yeah. I mean, you know, I've, I've been partner for eight months or so. So five years and four months worth of viewing hours gone. I was having a sleep and then had an oh fuck moment. I'm here now, so stream may begin. Welcome, Meaty. We can officially start, everyone. Everything that happened before this point is uh, null and void. <laughs> If you want to have a sleep in meaty, that's okay. Even, hey, you can, if you've got the, uh, the Twitch app on your phone, you can chill out in bed and just, and just watch on, it's fine. It's totally okay. I understand. I wish I could stream from bed. <laughs> oh, Lord. I know, right? Two, two streams in a row of suffering. Pure suffering. Eternal phalanx of humility. No. Unless the various locations in Queensland affected by flooding. Yeah, if you go onto Reddit, uh, onto r slash Brisbane, there's a lot, like a lot of videos and stuff of people. Like I, I did, I did consider, I do have a bunch of photos, not video, but I do have a bunch of photos from what it was like around here um, that I sent to my mum because she was concerned and my dad, of course. He was less concerned, but I thought I'd keep him up to date anyway. Um, but uh, I thought about posting them in Discord and then realised that that would be doxing myself. <laughs> So I, I, I refrained, but yeah, there are plenty of, of videos and pictures and stuff like that in r slash Brisbane. Very smelly. Flooding is nasty, did such a risky work. After flooding, it's not pleasant. No, not at all, I can imagine. But thank you. Thank you for chipping in, Ewok. That's amazing of you. Uh, I'll still down there when I flooded. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Like people, if they, if they weren't in, if they were out somewhere on Sunday night, and they didn't get home in time, and by the time they did get home, you know, the even if even if the water is like halfway up your calf, you can't drive in it because you you cut your tires just can't get traction on the ground. Like it's and it, and water rises hella quickly, really really quickly. Ah, uh, because it's ninety percent does it. You sure do have some bad floods, indeed. Indeed we do. Ah, uh, some people moving away for the weekend and stuff. Yeah. Yep, lots of extra exercise using stairs. Indeed. Also, lots of not leaving the house. No, <laughs> I um I posted a screenshot in Discord in one of the exercise channels because um I got my my summary, my Fitbits because I got my beautiful Fitbit. Thank you to Zarin. Um, but uh had my Fitbit summary for the week for like 28th of Feb to the 5th of March, and like the the number of steps I had each day. Like, good lord. And all of the like you are up by 70% over the last week. It's because there was nothing to do. Except go for walks and look at the damage around the place. Like, be a sticky beak, you know? Like, there's literally nothing else to do. Um, so we went to the grocery store and bought some food that was, you know, like, just a little bit of food because we had to eat it before it went bad because no fridge, obviously. I mean, we had the chest freezer that we ended up rigging up, but we weren't sure if we were going to have that. Um, and then we ended up buying, a, a, like, a bumper puzzle magazine, Better Homes and Gardens puzzle book. Um... And we sat down and we did crosswords together for literally hours. <laughs> Nothing else to do. And so we went for walks. But yeah, it was, uh, it was interesting. Mm, so glad you got yours out. Yeah, me too. When, when I saw the email and I, I showed Jas and I'm like, do you want to go like, just check your car? And he was like, yeah, it's probably a good idea. And so he went and checked his car and then he came back God knows how long later and I'm like, you took a while, you were moving your car. He's like, yep, the water in the basement was up to my ankles. So I was like, oh good, wonderful. Cause we're on like the lower of the two basement levels. Um, and the photos that were in the email that we received were from the upper of the two basement levels. So by the time he got down there, it was a lot worse than the photos let along. So yep, trained rock tusk, no. Anything and everything all of the time. 
Spine more glade chewer. No, already done my time for the strange goop. 1335. I wish you all luck. It doesn't take you that long. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. At least I have chat to keep me company while I cast and click and cast and click. Callow flayed wing. No. Disappointed the government just decided to exclude Queensland from national emergency declaration after saying they would include it. Uh, I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. Um, if it's to do with the COVID stuff instead of the flood stuff or because if it's a national emergency declaration, keep in mind that once you declare a national emergency, there are some things that have to take place in terms of like restrictions and things that you're allowed to do and not allowed to do and blah, blah, blah. Those restrictions, if it's a national emergency, would that hamper recovery crews? That's something you gotta, you have to think about it from this kind of perspective. The, the, like the, the big, yeah. If it's, if it's about COVID, I don't know. I've got no information. You've not given me enough information, but if sounds like, if it's a national event, like they're not going to declare a national emergency for floods in Queensland, that doesn't make sense. But if it's a national emergency regarding COVID, excluding Queensland from that is probably the best plan so that we can continue to recover from the bloody floods. Uh, it was a world Yep, exactly. So much time left to the bridge disappear under the floodwaters. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty screwed. Arcanist Mana Saber. No. You can't stream from bed. It's so weird. Watch me sleep streams. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, uh, yeah, that's probably against Toss. Uh, it's not, actually. Uh, as long as you don't stream to a category. If you don't, like, if I, if I streamed to World of Warcraft and was sleeping, then you can report me for not playing the game advertised, like streaming to the wrong category. But if you have no category, then yeah, that's how people like Ludwig was able to do, you know, fucking month long, literally live constantly for an entire month for his uh, subathon thing. All, all within toss. Uh, Drake the North Wind, no. Uh, let's get one of those desks can roll over your bed so you can sit up in bed and have your setup right there when you're done pushed away. Oh god, wouldn't that be amazing? Although, I do have, like, my bed's up against the wall, so it'd need to be one of those ones that's, like, only one and then across. And I think my setup would make it break. <laughs> uh, how did you deal with the smell? What do you mean? It, it just smelled. That's it. You don't, you, there's no way to deal with it. You just, you just fucking deal. Like, you just get over it, move on, get on with your day. Like, there's nothing you can do. Uh, Queensland was going to be included in National Emergency Declaration, giving access to assistance money, etc. Government has just today excluded Queensland. So then it's not as bad as North South Wales, maybe the case, but still it's bad here too. Um, right, so you could, you could have, like, there's still, you're able to apply. Northern Queensland had applications, not for national emergency declaration, but there are other things that you can get assistance for. If you have completely lost your home, have lost a family member, or are permanently injured because of the floods, there's one payment you can get. And if you have lost income because of the floods, there is another payment you can get. You just need to go online and do it. That's complete. That was announced like weeks, literally weeks ago. And they told us we had six months to apply. This sounds like it's an additional thing. Which, to be honest, yeah, they are having it worse. So maybe they do need more help. Like, there's only a finite amount of money, unfortunately. And it needs to go to the people who are in the most need. Um, should be just bad. Somewhere else is still fucking bad. Dumb government. Yeah, but again, there's only, like... <laughs> there is a limited amount of funding. Uh, Blue Riding Netheray, no. Rust Bolt Resistor, no. Doug into it, our Premier said it was a bit late for that as the floodwaters have receded here. Maybe the assistance given to New for dealing with the floodwater rather than the aftermath. Correct. There is another payment, as I said, that can be applied for for six months at any time. It literally it said, we understand that applying for assistance may not be your priority right now. You'll have six months to apply. Do what you need to do. Because I investigated it because there was a chance that Jas and I would need to apply. In, in fact, Jas does still need Jasareth to log on and claim for lost income. I don't, because I was, luckily, the day I was unable to work, um, my, my employer is 
covering for me. They're just, they're gonna pay me anyway, which is amazing and incredible. Um, but Jazz is casual, so he doesn't work, he doesn't get paid, so he needs to apply for that. We can still get access to money. Like, seriously. Mm, Dark Spawn Manor 8, no, that's what I'd read too. Premier said don't bother because it's over, yeah. Government will hold on to emergency relief. After fires. Sundancer, no, hello, Sean. Uh, there's a just sleeping category now. Really? As of when? Usually they announce when they've got a new category like that. Uh, I'm more annoyed that it's only become a thing after New South Wales floods. I didn't ask for assistance when the water was still here. One does not simply deal with the stink of the Brisbane River. Yeah, you just... There's nothing you can do about it. You just move on. Get over it. Wait. <laughs> uh, no, it's not the Hasteed. Where am I? Uh, do the thing, Jess. Yes, indeed. Highlands Vengeful Charger. No, Blood Bathed Frost Brood Vanquisher. Yes. <laughs> it is indeed. Go. You've got the dirty, rusty brown, the dark silvery grey, and it's not glowing as much as it should be, but there's a glowy blue bit in there. Uh, number from you, Shibasu. See what it did there? Let's get onto it. Exactly, exactly, Jess. Do the thing. We need to pay rent. <laughs> I just want to shoot this aim. Not know that. Usually Twitch, uh, like, so we, um, you get like a, an alert on your dashboard when they make changes and stuff like that. That's super interesting. Especially for a, like a new, um, new category. don't think that's right. There's a category for I'm only sleeping, which is a game, a point and click. There is Sleep, which is an indie action game. Sleeping Dogs, Among the Sleep, Among the Sleep Enhanced Edition, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, and Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. There is no just sleeping There, there is no just sleeping category. Um, uh, trying to decide how much to show about my flooding experience if you light a hard one, some nightmarish ones. It's entirely up to you and, and what you feel comfortable doing. Um, I'd probably consider maybe some, like, if, if there are some really, really heavy topics to, like, warn people to not read the rest of your message or something in case they're, they're a bit you know, squeamish with one thing or another sort of thing. But, um, yeah, just, just being careful about that kind of thing. Uh, 29. Phenomenal. Darksburg. I don't know what that is. But congratulations. It's yours! Hi, uh, see you later. No worries, Enyo. So I need a little more attention to your photos. I'm like, of course. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Oh. <laughs> Excellent at this game. <laughs> Just suddenly goes silent. Uh, he's probably in a mythic key. I know he was trying to get a bunch of mythic pluses uh, on the way. Uh, I know they say a lot. Uh, so I know they say one in a hundred year floods, but it seems to happen a lot more frequently. If it isn't floods, it's fires. Is it global warming? What is going on here? Um, part of it definitely is the climate change thing. Um, like, the, the frequency of natural disasters is part of a region's climate, and the climate is changing. Things are becoming more frequent. Uh, they're getting more intense, all that kind of stuff. Climate change is real, uh, and this is what it looks like. 
Uh, it doesn't mean, you know, going up by, you know, that everything's getting warmer because some places are getting colder. Um, it's, uh, it's a whole lot of messed up. Um, but it's also not, I mean, climate change obviously is a result of human interaction with, with the planet and, and, you know, the industrial revolution and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, but there are other, uh, like, there are other human interventions that maybe they're not contributing to climate change, but they are altering the environment so that when something does happen, like if you if you have a place where there's like a river that's cutting through, uh, you know, steep, steep mountains on either side, and then humans come along and go, well, we want to be able to live here, so we need to flatten stuff out. Then when the water goes up, it's more flat, so it gets further and it do does more damage. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's literal things like that, but then also things like... Um, like overarching things like climate change um but beyond that i don't know i'm sure that there are other factors at play i'm sure that there are i don't know what they are um maybe we have a world soul like azeroth mother nature is just sick of us and so she's trying to kick us off like we don't know. Well, I don't know. I'm sure there are probably some incredibly wonderful scientists out there who do have at least an inkling of what's going on. Uh, but I'm not one of them. But yeah. It's definitely... It's definitely getting pretty bad. Um, this, this round wasn't as bad as the... Was it 2011 or 2007... Uh, we got half a meter away from the peak. Uh, so in Brisbane, the peak in the the really, really bad, I think it was 20, 2007. I think they were like the really bad ones. Um, I can't, I, I can't remember them. So I've like, I've taken in so much flood related information lately that I can't keep it straight. And I wasn't living here for either of those ones. Um, so I'm not sure, but uh, those ones, the peak in Brisbane city was 4.46 meters. Uh, and we got to four point was like three point I think it was three point nine six or something like we, we were pretty much bang on half a meter away from the peak um, which is good that it didn't get as high but particularly in the area that I live in back then this was an industrial area and now there's a million and one apartment buildings so so many more even though the peak wasn't as high thousands more people were affected particularly in the city like yeah so it's um it's a fun time sarcasm uh maybe they didn't want to encourage that category um i i don't know i i couldn't tell you like um make sure i'm only sleeping when they were streaming asleep yeah i'm only sleeping is a point and click game um so they are using the wrong category uh and could actually be rewarded for that. Uh, but streaming in the wrong category is a fairly small... Um, I've done it before, accidentally, when I didn't turn off the stream, like I didn't press the offline button, so it kept streaming on my, you know, see you next time screen. Because um, <laughs> I'm a numpty. Uh, and each time, I think I've done it twice in my six years, and each time it resulted in a 24 hour suspension um so it's not a yeah it's not a not a big huge thing just take a day off <laughs> and go oops crap i'll remember that next time uh since uh, one in a hundred years so i mean one percent chance per year is they have any more frequently misunderstanding terminology causes more confusion yeah you're absolutely right meeting you're absolutely right um but they are yeah they are happening more frequently indeed you can set your game to anything. You can. Oh, battle? Ah! Battle. How did I miss that? I'm, I didn't hear it. Uh, I feel like that makes sense. Yes, it does, right? So much more sense. Thank you, media. Appreciate it. Uh, almost got stranded by flooding once the water was up over the road. Wasn't sure how deep it was. It was only about 30 feet. It backed up. Hit the water about 90 and hydroplaned over the flood apart. Managed to get higher ground and home eventually. Oh, gosh. Yeah, in... Uh, uh, in Queensland, for those of you who don't know, uh, there's a saying, if it's flooded, forget it. 
um, because you don't know how deep it is. You can't see, how to, especially with floodwaters that are dirty and murky and gross. You can't see how deep it is. Um, you can't see if there's anything else in there. There could be sharp rocks or, or, you know, shards of wood or pieces of house or you don't know. You cannot tell what's in there and whatever's in there could shred your tires or cut you if you're trying to walk through it. Uh, and you do not want floodwaters getting into an open wound. Let me tell you, you will lose the limb. Um, it, it's not. You just know. Just know. Um, so, yeah, they say if it's flooded, forget it. Obviously, you know, individuals with different levels of training or experience, or whatever, may decide to have a, a different, may decide to make a different call. Uh, and that is on their individual responsibility. Uh, but as a general rule, if it's flooded, forget it. Um, okay, so I've got my 25 kills. I'm going to go turn that in. Because I knew I'd have another one after it. <clears throat> so many quests. So many quests. Um, I can't place another Orc Slayer because it's on time. Now. I have Centurions and Paladins. There's a paladin, so let's place that one. Good. A reminder there. Ah, uh, congrats on six years. Thank you, Crixie. I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. 100 year floods mean taking distribution of water levels and floods every period of time. Floods reach that level on average once every 100 years. You're not a scientist, Fia? Oh no, I am. I'm just not that kind of scientist. I'm not a paladin. No. <laughs> The four people listening, watching in, who haven't followed Fear on Instagram, would be great help to be able to incrementally increase Fear's support on social media. Can you help us? If you're not following me on Instagram, look, I haven't posted in a little while because I've been trying to catch up on work after the floods. Uh, it's been a bit of a shit fight. <laughs> uh, but if I can crack a K, like 1,000 on Insta, that opens so many new doors in terms of uh, like social media sponsorships and partnerships and things like that, which in turn increases my income which enables me to possibly move towards full-time streaming, which is my goal, my dream. That's what I'd love. Like, that's the next big goal. Big goal is make partner. Done that. Next one is full-time. Full-time content creation would be a bloody dream come true. So if you haven't already, I would love for you to drop a follow on all the social media, but particularly Instagram. Thank you so much. <laughs> the people who reported you were jerks. Yeah, it was back when I had those people, like, harassing me and stuff like that. That's fine. Battle plans. Of course we can, fairy. Absolutely. Absolutely we can. Done. <clears throat> I read about this yesterday. Insurance companies use it to determine risk. Just like a 1% mount could drop twice in a row, although unlikely, two 1% floods could happen two years in a row. But again, unlikely. Yeah. I have to have that saying down south. Sinkholes tend to happen as well. They can, yeah. We don't seem to have many sinkholes in Australia. Like it doesn't, it's not as big a thing as in, like, I know that, um, I think it's just a different history in America. You guys had a whole lot of like mining towns and, and pumping stuff from underground and all this kind of stuff, whereas Australia didn't really do a whole lot of that. So we don't, I mean, not to say sinkholes don't happen. They absolutely do, but they do not seem to happen nearly as frequently as they do in the US. Um, but it is definitely another risk for sure. Insta. Have you seen the Insta that is called Siblings or Dating? No. I'm guessing it's photos of couples and you're asked whether you think that you're siblings or if they're dating. Uh. Yeah, nah, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I have my own ways of entertaining myself. That's. <laughs> I don't know, a little, little bit awkward. I'd also hate to show up on a website like that. That's just a little too intrusive, I think. Uh, just me personally. Just me personally. No shade or judgment.
Ewok! Thank you so much for the cheer. Much appreciated. Goodness gracious. Actually, is that our first... I think it might be. Just a second. So, um... You guys remember that I was talking about how I still had a bunch of nasty beans left. Uh, one of the main reasons you saw I was going to sink all the things that built it over an old dried out watercourse and water decided to take its course back. Yep. It does, like I said, it definitely does happen occasionally, but it is not like a regular warning like it seems to be in the US. Where's the. Are these going to be solid? I think they are. They are. And I had a. Oh, no, I left it behind. Give me a second. Case of nastiness. So, 1000 bits is 2 times 500. Same rules as Bitfest. 500, 5 bucks, or a tier 1 sub. So, we've got 2. So, let us do. Oh, that's a poll. I don't want a poll, I want a prediction. There we go, it's the crystal ball one. Start prediction. Yum or yuck. Look! Start prediction. Oops, wrong button. Oh, hello. I recognize that name. Um, just the other day I was in for my monthly treatment talking about it. I went to see it definitely screws with your perception of which is which. Goes to show, do not make the assumptions, eh? Two humans are just two humans until they disclose a relationship to you. She saw it, so yeah. Every day, definitely gonna be walking as much as I can. Fantastic! Hello, Majesty! Happy stream anniversary, super proud of you. Whoop. Years of hard work. So, have you recently dyed your hair? Yes, it's super red today. Yeah, I have. If I say hello, congratulate you. Before I head to bed for night shift. Thank you so much, Majesty. Rest well. It's so good to see you. I hope work treats you very well. If you can help fish, don't want to mess up your bobber sense. I don't think you can hear other people's bobbers, or did they fix that? There was a period where you could do- like, fish! Go on! Like, I would love for other people to get them out today as well. Come on. It's totally fine. Ah, bean boozled torture time. Hope you get better luck than another stream where I was watching. Me too. Let's go yuck. Alright, I think the prediction has happened. Good. Alright, so this one is birthday cake or, or dirty dish water. Birthday cake. Lucky me indeed. And another one. This looks like it's going to be rotten egg or buttered popcorn. There you go. Four or five yuck ones. Through in Bitfest, I had so many yucky ones so many once i've done this bean we're gonna do our first giveaway of the day <clears throat> if 37 more people donate 2k embers to the shargol we will reach it so will the fishing luck get my bloody great z ray today yes do it do it i mean you've got like 11 hours meaty so like Oh, hype train is close. <gasps> oh my goodness, Kay! Thank you so much for the sub. That's another bean. <laughs> thank you so much for the well wishes. Thank you for the resub. All right, got ten seconds remaining on the decision on this bean. It is either rotten egg or buttered popcorn. Then we will do the giveaway. Then I will do the extra bean. Do need those embers? Hell yes! 2k max per person per day. 20 seconds to trigger a hype train, apparently. I should also actually crack open my water bottle so that I can do my hydrates because I know I have a few redemptions. Is it typing? Yeah! There we go. 
Delay from phone. Yes. It happened. Oh, for God's sake. Another hydrate. Okay, here we go. Butter popcorn or rotten egg. That was rotten egg. Ew. All right. It's my little jar of happiness. Actually, I reckon. Yeah. I can do this. There's a mess today. Hi, the sun. Oh my god. <laughs> Channel with the five gifted subs. There you go. One, two, three, four. Five. Thank you very Hi, much. Sunwell. Congratulations to everyone who got caught in the sub bomb. Make sure you say thanks to channel if you feel comfortable talking. But the first Hi, giveaway the of the day. What are we going to give away? Oh! Hi, the Sunwell. See it. Can you see? No. Maybe. Mellow Cosmetics, we have a $25 gift card to give away. So Mellow Cosmetics um, are one of the, com Hi, the companies I'm affiliated with. Ah, oh, Hype Train Incoming. Jesus Christ. Hello, Ash. An alley with a thousand bits, my lord. Okay, I'm gonna pop two more over there. Goodness gracious. Thank you so much for the cheer. Cosmetics indeed, Nano. And Overgrown Ewok again. Oh, goodness gracious. Another 500. I'll put another bean in that. Look, I pull the beans out and everything goes bonkers. So yes, I am a Mellow Cosmetics affiliate. Um, however, I need to be very clear that this particular giveaway is not sponsored by Mellow. This is my funds. This is coming out of my pocket. I bought the gift card and I'm giving it away myself. They are not affiliated with Why this. Why Sunwell? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. Hi, the sun well. Oh my goodness. We're about to eat all the beans, apparently. So, 60s, it's almost 70. I know, Lucky, how amazing is that? Thank you so much. And channel with another Hi, five gifted well. subs. Goodness gracious. One, two, three, four, five. Sucker for suffering streams. I know. Why do you think I'd do it? Hi, the sun. <laughs> Nano, thank you so much for the cheer. Much appreciated. I'm gonna fill the cup for a big split cup explosion. We used to call it a cup explosion. Hi, the uh, right. Well. Giveaway. I need to do the giveaway. Uh, let me open this bit up. But yeah, I need to be very, very clear that this is a gift card that I am gifting to somebody. It is not associated with Mellow. It is not affiliated. They are not, uh, like, they're not whatever like they're not associated with this they're not encouraging it they're not sponsoring it, nothing like that um they are not affiliated with this giveaway it is completely on me so uh mellow cosmetics 25 dollar gift card um so this giveaway is restricted to places where mellow ships yari and Nano, thank you so much to both of you for the cheers. My goodness. Thank you so much. Um, right, so this is this this giveaway is limited to people who live in a place where Mellow ships. Uh, let me just double check um, where they ship to. Mm-mm. <clears throat> International order. So they do ship internationally. We know that much. Let's take. Let me scroll to the bottom. Um. God's sake. <laughs> Shipping and returns. Uh, so all orders are dispatched from our warehouse in Brisbane, Australia. Uh, so they ship to Australia, all other countries, customers are liable for custom duties at the destination country. Um, doesn't 
They don't have any excluded countries listed. It doesn't have any excluded countries listed. Um, uh, but I will make clear that this is a 25 Australian dollar gift card. I feel like that is an important piece of information. Um, we are going to pop the timer down to two minutes. It is exclamation giveaway and you can enter now exclamation giveaway if you would like to enter the giveaway for a 25 Australian dollar Mellow Cosmetics gift card. There don't seem to be any restrictions on where they ship to. Obviously there are shipping costs and things like that. Um, yep. 25 kangaroo bucks. Correct. Correct. They ship to New Zealand. I do believe so, yes. Uh, it would make not much sense if they shipped to the US, but not New Zealand. Uh, they have no excluded countries listed, so I'm not 100% sure on where they wouldn't ship to, uh, but I imagine that they would ship to New Zealand. Um, exclamation giveaway if you would like to enter. Good luck indeed. One minute left to enter. Dinner time, enjoy your food, X. $25 dues, indeed. Indubitably. Where is my strange group? It's <clears throat> gracious. Level four hype train. You guys are amazing. We will start back up with the beans immediately after drawing the giveaway. Um, so for the person for the giveaway, I will need your email address to be able to send you the gift card. It is an e-gift card. I don't require any of your other personal information, but I will require your email address. Um, it will not be used for any other purpose, obviously. Uh, it will just be so that I can send you the... Oh, I got a level two hype training man. I must have all the four and three ones. Somewhere in the water, you just need to fish it. I'm trying. I'm trying. Entries have stopped for the giveaway. One feels like, like, yeah, absolutely. I know the feeling. Alrighty. Congratulations. Channel. Channel one. You have won the first giveaway of the day. For a 25 Australian dollar. Mellow Cosmetics gift card. Congratulations! Yay! Alrighty, I'll pop the lid back on the giveaway jar. Uh, I've noted down, so what I'll do after stream, potentially tomorrow morning, like it might not be after, it depends on how screwed I am after stream, but I'm making a note of all the winners of all the different prizes. And I will, like, obviously, like, there are some things that I can send out straight away. But this kind of stuff, instead of sitting here and doing all the, like, I'll do it afterwards. I'll grab your email address and I'll send all that through to you. Congratulations! Well done. Well done. And it's absolutely not required, obviously. But I would love to know what you think of the products you purchase. Because the more information I get the more information I can provide to people who are looking to use my affiliate link and stuff like that. Doesn't work. What doesn't work? Oh, Yori, I found that when you post your own one, it doesn't come up, but everyone else can see it. So, like, I can't see. When I posted mine, it says Choo Choo Hype Nom, but everyone else has got the actual emotes showing up. It's really, it's only started happening really recently, but don't, don't be afraid. I can see your, like yours comes up with the, with the actual emote. Um, it's just really weird. <laughs> it's really, really weird. With the wife will see, ah, fantastic. Yay. So silly. I know it's, I think it must have something to do with it. Just not updating quick enough on the other end or something. Um, I don't know. Look, I have an Oro Bobber. I have an Ori Baba. Happens to me too? Yeah. Yeah, mine too. It's 
all good. All right, beans, beans. Magical fruit. The more you eat, the more likely you are to have one that tastes like rotten eggs. Uh, <laughs> okay. This one is going to be uh, juicy pear or boogers. But yeah, any uh, 500 bits, five bucks as a donation or a tier one sub. Therefore, a tier two is two and a tier three is five. Because it's that, yeah, good. But I st I've got quite a few left to go. So if you want to hold off, then I'm fine with that too. <laughs> and I do have three more boxes of the things as well. So don't stress, I'm not going to run out. I mean, I might, but if I do, I'll probably be crying with all the support, so it'll be fine. Different kind of suffering. I've got mascara in my eyes. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm at 237 casts. 60,500. Holy crap, is that. We're oh my god, we're actually that close already. <gasps> my goodness. Alright. Hi, the sun well. Mm! Come in! With the resub. Much appreciated. I'm going to toss another bean into the pot. Thank you so much for the resub. <laughs> Six years, thank you so much, Mid. Thank you so much. It has been a journey. A journey indeed. Alrighty. This one. Uh, dead fish or strawberry banana smoothie is the next one. Mm. There you go. My bags. <clears throat> it's hiding inside my ray. Okay, so you need to fish up that bloody ray so I can have my goop. <laughs> course only the start of the journey. Once we get the group we've got to go through like a whole thing. <clears throat> okay. Dead fish. Strawberry banana smoothie. Strawberry banana smoothie. This is fun. <laughs> Thank you, Elisine. Much appreciated. That's 250 casts, by the way. Much appreciated. Keep getting yuck. It has to happen. <clears throat> okay, this one is going to be either uh, chocolate pudding or dog food. K 
canned dog food specifically. All my auctions are expiring. Ah, uh, zoned out reading, came back to hearing dog food. Good, wonderful. I have a, a bean to eat, and it's either going to be chocolate pudding or canned dog food. Dog food only wants to clip my bobber on your sounds so far. Good. Wonderful. At 2.54. Okay, predictions have been made. I think you're rejoicing at my suffering, Shiba. That makes me feel terrible. <laughs> okay. Was this strawberry banana or dead fish? She was the honest one. You look. Look. <laughs> Should have answered getting meat here, and I love it. I'm getting getting risky. Hope you've all contributed to the uh Shaf Arm community goal. <clears throat> ah, well done, fairy. Congratulations. pear or booger. In a row, well done, Panda. Well done. Last night I forgot about the challenge. Oh no, meaty! That's okay. I have a sneaking suspicion that we're gonna get there just fine. seconds left to predict. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> ah, Shiva. Beach or bath. So for those of you who are hanging out last night, uh, what do we think of strange horticulture? Are you all as invested as I am and wanting to know what's happened? Like... <clears throat> Rigged too many tasties? It just means the rest of them are going to be horrible. Is it more and more frustrating? Oh no, Nutty. I'm assuming you've tried getting in contact with your ISP. That really sucks. Hey Axiom, how you doing? Welcome back. Six years, thank you. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. All right, prediction has closed. <sighs> Delicious. <laughs> Ali, Zam, and Death. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. But again, no way. Careful, careful, because if you talk too much about it, it'll swing the other way. It's going up. That's super strange, Nutty. Oh my god, that's so weird. One of the things that really frust me, frustrates me about internet connections is like, I mean, they need to obviously, like, they can check the, the node you're at, the cables that run to your house, all that kind of stuff, the connection. But then even from your end, you've got, like, the bit in your PC that it plugs into, like the physical card. Then you've got all of your internet settings. Then you've got the cable that runs to your router. Then you've got the router. Then you've got the cable that runs to the actual wall, like the box. Do you know what I mean? Like there's just, there's so many parts that can bloody fail. So many parts. Like, you know, when we were having those disconnects, like every single day I was having an internet disconnect. It only lasted a couple minutes at a time, but often it was about 10 minutes into stream. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, what the hell is going on? Eventually, like, I'm like, it has to be, it has to be the router. It must be dying. I've had it for like six years at this point, seven years or something like that. It must just be getting to the end of its life. And so dad sent me a new one. It's beautiful. No issues since, not a single one. So I'm pretty confident by, at now saying that it was, it was the router. But like when you first change it out, even if it goes four or five days without an issue, you still can't say it's that for certain. Because then all it takes is one little issue 12 days later and you know what I mean? Like, ugh. Ugh, oh, yeah. Look, we rely so heavily on it, but good lord. The internet is just such a pain in the butt sometimes. <laughs> cable that connects to the cable to the cable. Correct! All the cables. All oh, the points of failure. Right? Yes, all the things. Agreed. Uh, this button. Place your units. Um, did we have... No, I can start a new one. Okay. Birthday cake, dirty dishwater. Resume the fishing! Check in September. A single hour, you can't actually count how many disconnects I had. It's a solid block of blue, red, green. Oh, Jesus. Far out. Yeah, 
it sounds like something is like seriously wrong there. Like, I don't know if you're on, on fiber or not, but I know that fiber is really picky because it's light, right? It has to refract properly, so you can't bend it too far because it has to be able to refract correctly down the cable. It, it's almost like it's just bent, it's like kinked somewhere and it's not letting it like, oh. Mm. Issues at work touch have been singularly unhelpful, so we're gonna try a new router. I hope that's the right equipment for our setup. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so we've done the prediction is closed. Birthday cake, dirty dishwater. Delicious. Birthday cake. Much vanilla. Overload of vanilla, to be honest, but it's fine. This raid go. Wrong, I swear if you win that, that stupid coin again, I'm gonna deny you access to sight. <laughs> oh my god. Just to be clear, Sheba cannot access the giveaways, cannot like affect the results there, can't remove people. I can't even actually remove people from the draw. Um, so Fun fact. <clears throat> oh my goodness. All right. Ah, <laughs> Sheba. Another prediction. This one is gonna be buttered popcorn or rotten egg. Your eyes hand them over. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Do I need to separate you two? Twenty seconds to go, approximately, depending on your uh, lag. Obviously, excuse me. <clears throat> Any surprises, or do we know what they are? I know there are twelve of them, and I know what each twelve is, but I don't know what order they're going to be in. I'm just going to draw one from the jar of happiness, and uh, and that's what we'll give away. And it is so that people who want a particular thing and want to enter a giveaway won't turn up for those five minutes of stream and then fuck off again. <laughs> Encouraging people to stay a while and listen. No, um, to, to hang out with us and, and just chill, you know, because it's... Yeah. So I know what they are. There are 11 of them left. And what each hour's giveaway will be. That will be determined by random draw. Hey Tussie, how you doing? Welcome back. I like surprises. I like surprises too. I think they're fun. Um, especially when all of them are good. Like, they're, like it's all free stuff. Like, <laughs> you know, it's not going to be, like, not a single one of them is, you have to give me 10 back. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's not, it's not a thing. So, like, every single surprise is good. Some people may not care for one thing or another. Like, you know, a makeup gift card. Not everyone's cup of tea. Um, but it's okay because if it's a giveaway that you're not interested in entering, you just don't have to enter it. Mmm. Let's give away the process of elimination. And that's why I'm not telling you the whole list of everything. <laughs> So I'm not telling you the whole list of everything. Uh, there's stuff from Mellow, there's stuff from Bubble Tea Club, uh, there's stuff from Twitch, there's stuff from Logitech, there's stuff from Blizzard. 
Um, so, like, there's a whole variety of bits and pieces uh, that are available to be won. But, yeah. Um, it was me inclined to hang around to see what is randomly drawn to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's, um... There are... That, um, yeah, there are multiples from every single supplier. So not a single one of them has one slip of paper. Everything... Every supplier that I mentioned has more than one. Uh, so, you know, once you hear a Logitech piece drawn, you, there, there are still more peripherals coming, kind of, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah. So, yeah, it'll be, you know, I'll, I'll be keen to see what people think. And what, what the most excited, which ones the most excited are. Uh, of course, of course. Like, I didn't enter last one, I don't use makeup, so just didn't enter, exactly, exactly. You can just know what is on the table, Absolutely. Absolutely. I like the, the general hint, like, this is what you have to look forward to. And then the actual surprise of, oh my gosh, that's awesome. I want one of those, exclamation giveaway. So, yeah, it's, uh... Right, choose the outcome. It was rotten egg or buttered popcorn. And we've passed 300 attempts for the strange group as well. I mean, he's excited less about the actual thing, more about the win. Yeah, I agree. I mean, also, like, the excitement of especially things that you've wanted to try, but that you haven't been able to justify the cost for yourself. Or something you need. Like, like you know, you've, you've run out of something or something has broken and you need that and you're like, oh, actually, that would be hella useful. And it would actually fill a hole currently in my- do you know? Like that's- yeah, that's what I'm uh... It makes me really happy when- when people are happy. You know? Funny facial expressions when you get a yuck one. I am pleased that my suffering is entertaining to you. <laughs> I am actually pleased. That's- it's a good thing. <laughs> it's why I always raid with only one coin. Good. Hello Grip. Are you NA or EU? I am Australian. OCE. Alrighty. What's this? Coconut or spoiled milk? Oh, fantastic. Can you invite me? No. No, I'm good. <laughs> uh, this is this. You don't need to be in a group to be able to do this activity. Everyone is free to come along and in fact, uh, LK was here recently, even on their Alliance tune, just sitting here fishing along. I do not want to. Uh, do, the stream is actually flagged PVE. I, I don't want to do pvp i'm currently fishing which has got nothing to do with arenas <laughs> uh, i think you might be in the wrong place are you feeling okay go. You guys have such faith, don't you? Coconut or spoiled milk? Screw you all. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I'm 80% of the yucca. <laughs> money. Coins. Uh, embers. Embers is not money. Channel points. I 
to crack that 800k mark. Good lord. What are you saving for? What are you doing? Keep in mind that the koala coins and the embers are two different currencies. And that the predictions use embers, not koala coins. Eight sagamons, obviously. <laughs> Donate 62 people by predictions. <laughs> so you are hoping that you got it wrong. Okay, sure. Oh no, I know, just, just being like, making sure everyone was blanket aware. That's all, not calling anyone out. Sorry, Kay, I didn't mean to make you feel called out. Um, no idea what koala coins are. They are the currency managed by the bot. They're used for the free-for-alls and the raids and the, um, that's about it. And the 1v1s and then everything else is done with the embers. 56,530. Oh my gosh, that's like nothing. 84%. Holy cow. Okay, awesome. And they need about 12k more embers so I can rename a pet or make a sound emote. Yas. Yas. And for bragging rights, of course. Good morning, dupe. How are you going? I haven't done your sound command yet. I'm sorry. I went straight to bed and then woke up and began streaming. So, <laughs> haven't managed to do it yet. Uh, but I do believe it's time for another bean. I've got six left so uh this is birthday cake or dirty dish water it's okay thank you for your understanding i will get it done i will get it done away from goal 28 people away from goal holy cow that is so close so close as they never use them yeah yeah fair oh dear Can't donate the whole 2k. That's okay, do uh, you can jump into the predictions and you might score yourself some extras. If you win, of course. Three hundred and thirty two casts so far. <clears throat> there we go. Three, three, three. It means we've got only got a thousand to go. <laughs> Quarter of the way there. No, yes, a quarter. Math is hard. All right. Birthday cake bean. Oh, channel. Okay, give me a second. Because the bot's broken at the moment. Uh, it's not giving people currency. So I've been doing it manually when people run out. <clears throat> oh! Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Hey, George, how you doing? Hello. Seeker, have you just been really successful or are you actually earning coins again? Because 
Because I gave you 10k and you're back up to nearly 16k. It's a retail fantastic! Oh, that's awesome news. Two games for one sub ain't bad, hey? Matt a lot today. The giveaway is on at a certain time. Every hour on the hour. This might be toasted marshmallow or stink bug. It's mostly white, but there's like a little little patch of brown on it, teeny tiny little patch of brown. So I think this is toasted marshmallow or stink bug. <laughs> trying to get that squeaked out. Not trying. I'm getting. It'll just take me a while. That's all. our fishing stream go look i wouldn't be surprised with my bloody luck although i do have my lucky earrings on so i'm hoping i'm hoping got on my second kill figured it was a high drop chance not at all if you have the if you've got the lure then it's guaranteed uh but if somebody else has fished it up i think it's like a one percent or something but everyone's got their lucky ones what is lucky for one maybe unlucky for another uh, but what is unlucky for one will be lucky for another. <clears throat> 350 casts. 23.1% chance of having seen it already. I haven't. Spoiler alert. But I do like that Rarity's tracking it, because it mean, means it's going to give me the whole swing. Um, do you need Max Shadowlands fishing for this? I don't know, but I've had Max Shadowlands fishing since, like, week two. Um, I was fishing and leveling it up while I was waiting for Dead Blanche to spawn. I am like getting that map in Invincible. Cool. So, not everyone has actually managed to see all that stuff yet. Just a heads up. I wish max fishing level, but uh, others have reported no, you don't need max fishing or any extra gear, etc. Good! Awesome! So you just need to be able to cast. That's awesome. Sorry, right now. Uh, depends on what you're asking about, okay? <clears throat> yeah, some people may have liked it, but it's still a spoiler at this point, because, like, it's literally this week, it's only, like, three days ago that that content was released. So, like, people who work full-time and have kids and stuff, this is, this is crack and dawn Saturday morning. Like, <laughs> this might be the first chance that people are having to get online and actually do stuff. So, you know, just, just be sort of, just be aware that not everyone is able to play like we do. Yeah, don't, don't ask, okay? Just play the story. Just keep doing the story. This is why I said. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Stink bug, toasted marshmallow. Like fuck for that. 
Mm. Not a half bad one. All of the hype. You invite me, there's like 50 people fishing on my server and it's distracting. <laughs> Do you actually want an invite? Because I can't tell with the gapper. Yep, all right, cool. I just wanted to make sure that you weren't like expecting me to just ignore it. <laughs> Oh, it does say nearby from the nearby waters. I don't know. If you check the data on Wowhead, it should have pins where people have fished it up. But, um, I don't know. I don't trust it. <laughs> mm, don't want to miss a spawn. That's fair. Well, you will miss a spawn, obviously, if you're on this server. Because <clears throat> uh, I am the only one here. Except for now, of course, you. Mm. I've got the lure if you'd like to kill it. I mean, if you'd like to, Kat, but, um, Cass, but I who also do want to get the lure myself. Because there's not just the mount that it drops, there's all of the, um, uh... Is the lure reusable? Or is it, like... I'm guessing it is. No. It's one time? Oh, you bastards. Really? Oh, that's disgusting. Why? Why? That's terrible. That is actually legitimately terrible. Because it has all the other stuff. Like, all the, um... What's it called? Oh, crap. I'm on account mode. No wonder this is a long-ass list. Um... That is just so freaking terrible. It's got all the um the transmog and stuff that it drops as well. Don't kill it before you get yours. You have to wait a day to get them out with your own lure. Yeah, true, very true. Yeah, maybe not then. Maybe I'll just get my own. Thank you very much though, Cass. I appreciate it. And welcome one in as well. A lot of work for one and done, I suppose I get it. Look, I I get it. But at least, like, at least if you've gotten it once, apply a permanent buff to your account that means that the strange group is like a 1 in 20 or something, you know, once you've got your first one. <clears throat> mm, killing it is fine now. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, like, it's just that still... The fact that it's not, like, it's a lot of work for something that is, that has more, like, if, if it only dropped the mount and that was it, nothing else, there was no point to it once you had the mount, I get it. Totally get it. But it's not. There's other stuff that can drop it. There's other stuff that it can drop, I should say. Ah, oh, then you just return to the vendor to buy another lure after you make it the first time looking at that information to confirm. Now, thank you, Nutty. Yeah, confirmation on that would be fantastic. Because even if I have to spend anima to get another lure, like, I, I get that. That makes sense. But having to fish up another one? Get screwed. No way. Go away. Go away. Like, all the way away. Zerath Mortis is enormous. So I've done Antros for the week, so I can't get anything else there. In before, I'm going to be fishing the whole stream, and I'm not going to get a chance to do anything else. <clears throat> 20 battle pets. I could do that. Excuse me.
just hadn't heard of it, yeah. Makes sense. <clears throat> Interesting that there's no pet in the, or, or mount, or toy, or anything in the... Although the Sphere of Enlightened Computation... It is a toy, never mind. <laughs> I lied. It's a funky looking staff. Interesting. Like, eh. I guess it goes with the rest of the sets. Fifty different protoform creatures. Synthesized, synthified, synthesuperfived. <laughs> oh, it's adorable. <clears throat> All the recipes, pets, and the mounts. Twenty-four of the mounts are crafted. Mm, Christians, I've played WoW before but never got into it all the way. Life problems. Is it too late to just jump into the game? Uh, never, honestly. Uh, like, genuinely, it's never too late to jump in. Uh, depending on what kind of content you really, really, really want to do, there might be some times where it's a little di more difficult to, say, get into a mythic raiding guild uh, if you jump in mid-patch or something like that. Uh, but if you're content like leveling up your character and gearing it up and getting ready for the next big patch. And then you can jump in and do like the bigger higher end rating stuff then. Um, but like they're, they're genuine, there's always something to do. Uh, of course, depending on the type of content you really enjoy, but there's always something to do. Um, it's a bit too late, just feel like I'd be so far behind. Um, the key there is like you don't, although it's like a 17 year old game, you don't have to get through 17 years worth of content to catch up. You have to get through like a very, very small amount of actual content to be able to get to the point where you're doing end game stuff. You can then go back and experience old stuff if you want to, but you don't have to. You don't have to do that stuff to be current. Um, I think the way that WoW's done that is, is quite awesome. Uh, no, no, I came back after a five year break. Didn't know there was another achievement after Synth 5G. It goes all the way up to like 50, I think it is. Catch up is pretty quick nowadays. Yeah, absolutely. Came back after a seven year one. Blizzard gives so many ways to catch up. Agreed. Agreed. Right, so uh, you can get another lure each weekly reset until you get the mount, it seems. That sucks. Oh. Interesting. Stopped in 2011, came back in 2016, left again late 2016, came back last February. Just want a good group of people to play with and have a lot of fun reading and such. Uh, Lich King was my last expansion I played. Yep, that's totally fair. You are still very able to jump in. You will still have to level up a character to max level, but that's not a, that's not hard. Um, it's it's quite easy to do these days, especially. Um, in terms of finding a raiding guild, that might be a little bit sticky. But there are a lot of guilds who do, like, normal raiding or heroic raiding, and then, like, you can step your way up through the difficulties as you're feeling more capable and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's definitely possible. Very, very possible. Uh, of course, we now have Mythic Plus as well, which is kind of a, a similar sort of level of, like, difficulty of play. Uh, but it's a group of five rather than like a group of 10 or 25 or, or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a bit easier to get into uh, that way. And you can also like the, the pugging scene is very, very big these days as well. Like a lot of people will just pug. They'll just, they'll just uh, do pickup groups because it's, uh, it's easier. Not everyone has time to commit X number of hours a week to a raid schedule because you know, People have spouses, people have full-time jobs, people have dependents, people have all sorts of stuff going on in their lives. Uh, so yeah, it's all a bit different these days. Yeah, there's a hundred percent drop chance with Lua. Yes, correct. It is. Uh, lovely. One to fifty now is legitimately a two-day affair. Fifty to sixty is about one to two days, depending on how much time you have. Yep, absolutely. And how like hardcore you go versus like how exploratory you want to be. I wonder if 50 is technically a 12 hour effort. Yeah, if you're super duper efficient, which not many people are. 
That's also assuming you have rested the whole time, which you it's impossible to do unless you break those 12 hours up over multiple, like, weeks kind of thing. Just in case you lose a loot, you can get another one. Interesting. Right, uh, it's midday. There are a lot of people here all of a sudden. Is it is it fishing time? Or have people just started waking up? Is that what's going on? Yeah, Aliens new play won't have them correct. Correct. How the heck is it midday already? Midday my time. I don't know about you guys. Oops. God damn it. She had a she just my question how I answered generally. Get back into it. Yes! Enjoy yourself, Moose. I hope you have a wonderful time and you're always welcome to ask whatever questions you need here. Always. It's all good. Okay, we are giving away... Ah! Five win low keys. Obviously not five to the one person. So it means we have five winners for this particular draw. And that is for when low. In case you don't have a six month subscription and are unavailable to or unable to purchase the mount... That is what you're looking at. It is a code, or five codes, for this beautiful, gorgeous mount. Uh, it also flies. So if I hop on S, it flies. It has wings. Obviously not in this zone, because we can't fly here. But uh, it does when you can fly. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so this one... These keys were given to me by Blizzard. This is not something I've purchased myself. Blizzard A and Z have been kind enough to give me some keys. And they are not region locked. Uh, so per the rules on Blizzard giveaways, no purchase is required to enter this giveaway. You do not need to be a sub. You do, however, need to be following to win. Um, that is a rule I've imposed, not Blizzard, but I'm allowed to impose that rule. <laughs> um, is that me? I think it was. Um, they must have merged a couple shards or something, because this is an incredible amount of people to just drop by all of a sudden. Uh, where are we going? Two minutes on the timer. Five winners will be drawn. Each winner will receive one Wenlo key. It is not region locked. Anyone in any region is able to enter this giveaway. And you can do so now by typing exclamation giveaway in chat. Remember, you must be following to win. Hang on, so I can kill this because they fixed it? Is that what we're saying? Well, 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 well. I'm gonna kill it. Someone has a bill, I really appreciate it. This has been better for me. Passage of time is a constant. It is. Day for two years feels like it's still early morning. So until next week, you can fly. So keen. Yes. All right. Back to it. <laughs> I want my goop. Region Locked is such a good giveaway. It is indeed. We're here as of Tuesday. Wednesday for us. Yeah, if you're upside down, yeah. <laughs> so nice of them. How do we enter? An exclamation giveaway. Oh, 
Show so much HP. It is a rare, yes. This is that's what you fish up using the lure that I'm trying to make. Oh, skeleton key. Interesting. You have to wait a day to kill again if you get a lure, right? No, Jack was saying it's been hot fixed. Um stuff give away. Hello, Crumb! I am well. I hope you are you can say the same. Because when you did, it's fine. Don't don't draw attention to them, yeah? <laughs> Why would you do that? Alrighty. Let me just get this one, and then... <sighs> there we go. Okay. Seeker! This... And then... Yeah. And then this one. Congratulations. He won. Done. Uh, this issue players only had a chance to loot deep support from Herakon once a day, even if they completed the puzzle and returned to defeat Herakon again that day. Yeah, they go. Your buff is not consumed once you fish it, meaning you can use the bait on an alt you don't play, log out. Once you kill it, then relog daily to summon him again for your friends. Interesting, okay. The sword! Hey, yay! Fantastic! Congrats! Congratulations, Seeker. You are very welcome. Another one. Nutty! Are you? This one? Didn't expect that. Well, congratulations. Expected or none, it is in your Twitch DMs. And then. Dory? of new raid doing rose drops by with someone loot. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Sorry, just double checking that I'm sending out different keys to everybody. <laughs> it takes a little bit of uh, brain stuff. And Elisane. And one more from this batch. So let me just... Send this to L. Go. And one more. Sean. Congratulations. Five winners. There we go. Congrats to all. There's something on my screen. There we go. <laughs> Brilliant. Of course, we still have 10 more giveaways to go. Ah, dearie me. Fantastic. Congrats. Oh, for God's sake. Congratulations to everyone. You're very wel welcome, Seeker. It is even oh, it's okay, Tally. It happens. It happens. You're very welcome, Elle. Brain stuff in this is gonna be. I know, right? It look. It takes a little bit. It takes a while to get through it. Hooray, indeed, Sean! Congratulations. Huzzah to everyone. You are very, very welcome, Mel. Very welcome. Uh, have you ever drawn a giveaway and the winner wasn't following? Yes. Attempt 1000. Oh no, Jack. This is because you got that silly key three times in a row before they fixed it. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, given the emphasis about having to follow, probably. Yep. Absolutely. You're very welcome, Dory. Very welcome. What do? Uh, by the time it drew, they weren't in chat either. I guess they got sick of waiting, unfollowed, and left. And so we redrew it. I can kill the room multiple times a day for the amount of chance. Yes, correct. You're very welcome, Sean. Congratulations. Yes, 10 more giveaways to go. Today is a giveaway filled day. And when we're not doing giveaways, we're eating disgusting jelly beans. I think this one is going to be coconut or spoiled milk. Shut my cabinet upgrades. Hold the Animal for Mounts and Cosmetics. Hey, fantastic! Yeah, I did mine for fear a while ago, and I've been slowly buying a couple of cosmetics, but um, I'm also really tempted to start sending stuff over to my alts as well, because there's so many cosmetics from the other co like the other covenants. I'm just I spent so much time focusing on getting my army leveled up that I'm so behind on like Shadowlands stuff, you know? It, but I mean, like I've never been this into collectibles anyway. So, like, this is this is as into collectibles as I've ever been. So I'm that far behind on every expansion. So it, I guess it's kind of fine, right? <laughs> um, right, I'm going to plug in my mouse to charge because it's dying. All right, those are me. We're all good now. We're all good. Um... Um, you have time though. Yeah. Yeah, but like three covenants worth of stuff. And I don't have all the Venthyr stuff either. And then three other covenants. It just, it is a lot. It, there's a lot of stuff. But I'll get there. I'll get there. Uh, oh, Hype Train is ready to leave the station. Um, I mate finally got his domination key yesterday. 3,000 kills later. Wow, yeah, no, I'm not, I haven't bothered to like farm for that stuff yet. Just because I have so much like other things to do better use of my time kind of thing. Either it will eventually drop during the course of leveling everything up, or it'll be the last thing I need to get that's left and then I'll go farm for it. Like, what do with the garden? There's, um, uh, Wowhead has a really good guide. Um, well, I mean, I thought it was really good, but then again, I had, like, basic understanding of how it worked, so maybe it's not actually that good. Uh, I've taken intense helping out multiple times, but at the same time we've been helping him, yeah. Yeah, Anima Grind is quite big, I guess. It, it really is. Especially when you're looking at all the, uh, what's it's... However, Zerath Mortis has more anima than the both other patches multiplied by three combined. Like, it's... <laughs> it, it just, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, go for it. Not a worry, Jack. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Right. A second to figure out what that was, what flavor it was. Mm. Thank God it was coconut. many rares. So many rares.
And then the zone drops. You know how I love zone drops. They're my favorite thing. Twenty-seven percent done with zero waters. God. Um. So headset comfy been looking at getting a pair lately due to mine starting to fall apart yes uh i this is the first headset i've worn in five years uh because other headsets uh the cups would sit funny like they because i've got quite a small head they'd sit too low um and like press against the squishy part of my neck which would give me headaches eventually and they'd crush the top of my ears and all sorts of fun stuff um these have been really comfortable because i can adjust like the, the elastic strap at the top has like three different, like you can put both at the, the upper one, you can move one down or both down, so you get like three levels of adjustment. Um, and yeah, they've, they've been, they've been really, really comfortable. The other set I've got, uh, this is, so these are the G733s, and then I've got the G435s as well. Uh, they're both wireless. These ones are smaller. Um, they're designed for, like, uh, kids, but also like people with smaller heads, um, which me, <laughs> uh, but they're also Bluetooth. These ones aren't Bluetooth. Uh, so yeah, I, uh, I like quite, I like them both quite a bit. Zim is insane. Every other day I'm dropping 10k out of a reservoir, which is a faster way to get grateful offerings. I've got so many of them, the grateful offerings just stacked up from like all the old stuff. Um, it's only 40k from here already. It goes faster than fighting for pet scrapping materials. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, Jackie, how you doing? Today's animal haul 12,930. Good lord. Good lord. Hey, watching the snail mount I don't have it so I can't give it to you you have to go get one you're out yourself uh some relics feel like most useless things because if you're on raiders mythic plus players it takes multiple weeks just to get one or two pieces of the gear yeah I mean they don't want to give you as much gear as people who are putting in the other because like raiding and doing mythic plus is difficult um so you know do more work get more reward that, that makes sense um, but getting, like, one or two pieces, like, getting a piece a week sort of thing. Um, there are some, like, you know, speaking from experience, when I was raiding, there were, like, I'd go an entire month or two without any upgrades. Um, so it's good that there is something in the background to help you get something, especially if there's, like, one slot where you're just getting really bloody unlucky with drops. Um, but... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll get some- maybe as the story progresses it'll unlock more quests and world quests and stuff. Because like three or four world quests a day doesn't seem like much at all. Um, so maybe we'll unlock more as the story goes along and we get friendlier with the uh, the brokers. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not. Just reply to the DM. Seems on the awkward one. Ah, uh, okay. I- what's- what's wrong, buddy? Why- why are you awkward? So, yeah, doing well. Doing well, thanks. Uh, Relic's meant to be a gearing method for non-raid PvP players, yeah. Okay, uh, just looking to see if one specific did that for getting pet recipe. Yeah. So finally leaves EM. Oh, brilliant, sure. Well done. Well done. Something went wrong when trying to redeem. Uh, right, have you got the mount already? Uh, also, make sure you're doing it in the right place in the shop. It's not a game code. It's it's not like a game time code. There's a, there's a specific area for putting game time codes in, and then a different area for putting like store purchase codes in. Um, yeah. Apart from that, I'm I'm not sure. I, I can't really do a whole lot of digging into it while I'm live, unfortunately. Um. Hmm. Yeah, definitely check that you don't already have the the mount because if you've already got it, it will it will just break. Um, and then make sure you're popping it in the right place. 
that's okay, Alu, not a problem. This is when I had to break off out. Ah, okay. Fair enough. I'm waiting for the last two quests campaign to unlock in ZM. Yeah, we'll get them, uh, what, in one a week, yeah? As per usual. Soon. Soon. Uh, okay. What am I? Another bean. Let us do one of these. 450 casts for Strange Goop. Um, you're talking normal raid gear that's farmable in world. They're not going to make it simple. No, of course. Of course not. And make people feel like there's no point raiding normals. Ah, uh, can't wait to get home and fly around on the pretty tiger. Yes! Always checked in game. So you need, you need to sort it now. I really should be in bed, actually. Fair enough. Uh, what I would probably suggest that you do is reach out to... Um, uh, I wonder, actually... I was going to say Blizzard ANZ on Twitter. Because um, that's all that I'll be able to do is just reach out to them and say, Hey, this is... um. Like, if you're wanting a solution faster, then maybe letting them know. But it is a weekend, so they're probably not going to be super quick on that anyway. Because, um, you know, they're corporate. They deserve a day off. Um, I think I had this issue happen once before. And like they, which they asked me to ask all those questions that I've already asked. Um, and then I think they ended up asking for their... Possibly their Battle.net email so that they could check their account to see if it was flagged for the mount already and stuff. I'm not sure. Um, also, if you've got multiple accounts, make sure it is flagging the correct account. Because if you've got multi-accounts and one of them's got the tiger, one of them doesn't, then um, make sure you're trying to apply it to the right one. Um, but yeah, beyond that, it might be a little while before I can get a hold of them. <laughs> uh, fishing noise is giving me PTSD from Argus Fishing. Good. No, I, I feel the same way. Um, uh, what is it? Exclamation pond in chat will get you my uh, my little slice of mind numbingness. Close, stoop. Close. Oh god, that one was horrible. Oh. Good lord. Okay. There you go. Another bean. This is where it just shows up next to you. Ah. Uh. Well, if it's saying, oops, something went wrong, usually it gives you a confirmation that it's actually been redeemed, so probs not. Um. Yeah, um, uh, like, there's, there's nothing I can do at the moment. I'll, um, I've got your, I've got your DM there, um, and I'll just, I'll ping them after stream and see what questions they have for me. Uh, that number is close to another random number I've memorized for work. Fair. Fair. Oh, God damn it, I keep accidentally like clicking like with the yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah Sam Fine. I'm comfortable, okay. I've gotta be here for like twelve hours. Oh, excuse me. Oof. Excuse me. I am making AIP curry for lunches this week. Tomorrow morning before stream, Jess and I are going to go do the grocery. Because usually we do grocery shopping and meal prep and stuff like that today. But obviously, that's not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to make a uh, an AIP, an autoimmune protocol curry. So nightshade free, no tomatoes, uh, no potato. Um, it's turmeric and uh, cinnamon and coconut milk and stuff. It's I think it's like a yellow curry. 
It looks really tasty. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes. And hopefully, having that for lunches will make me feel a little bit better health-wise. Because I've been feeling like trash for some time. Um, and I would like to feel better. So hopefully I can treat food. Sounds tasty. Mm. Pick some maybe even a recipe on Discord. Uh, yeah, I can give me... Give me a second. Did I not bookmark it? You know what, I must have put it in because I think I sent it to Jas in Discord so that he had the link. Nope, that's a PDF. Okay, why? Trying to find the recipe. Give me a minute. <laughs> there it is. Roosted root. There you go. And that's the one without the, you know, 20 minutes of preamble and all that. I'm fishing. It's good. That I can do. DMing Blizzard is a little more involved. <laughs> uh, so more just gives me conflicting vibes. We must protect the creatures here. Also go murder hundreds to charge this orb. Yeah, I think, I think the thing is we are protecting the creatures. However, there are a bunch of them that have been corrupted by the Morsworn influence. And we need to cull those ones to try to bring the rest of the place back into balance. It's still not ideal, but it's, I get it. I get it. All right, Bean. It's not birthday cake. It's not dirty dishwasher. It tastes like bubblegum. I'm gonna say yum. Because I like it and I'm going to eat it. But. It was the wrong. <laughs> Remember last time how we were talking about we thought how there might have been some of the older flavours. It's like it's tutti frutti. Um, they used to have some older flavours in the box that they've discontinued but they've accidentally. Yeah. Uh, is this week's campaign quest spoiler territory? Yes. Um, I've done it, but we do have people in the community uh, who are like, you know, they they work full time, they have kids, they have after work responsibilities, uh, and this is the first time they're getting to actually sit down and play for the week, uh, and they haven't made it through yet. So yes, this week's campaign is is spoiler territory. Thank you for asking, and thank you for understanding. Maybe you like eating soap. I don't because I know that the dirty dishwater one tastes like fucking coriander, and I don't like coriander. <laughs> Axiom Meaty Crixie Channel and Seeker, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Noted. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I know, look, I know it's a bit annoying. We do have, um, there is an area in Discord uh, called Story Spoilers uh, where you are more than welcome to talk about not just like storyline at the moment, but stuff ahead that you've read on Wowhead or seen on the PTR or whatever. You're more than welcome to discuss all that in there if you so choose. Um, but yeah, I, I do appreciate kind of keeping it safe for those who haven't had a chance to play through yet. Okay, I can't place any of the ones I need to, to be able to like 
do quests, so I'm just gonna pop down my flag bearer and hope for the best. <clears throat> what is Coriander? Coriander, yeah. Uh, Alright, I've got one more bean. One more bean left in the bucket. <clears throat> Prediction is open. Do you think it will be yum or yuck? It is a peach or bath. Peach or bath. Where is my strange group? <laughs> Why has it not yet arrived? <clears throat> Don't know if it's only for the horde. Has Vulcan on a Thanos? They haven't been seen in Shadowlands yet, have they? Don't think so. Don't think so. Special show. For the alliance. It tastes soap when I eat it. I'm the same. I'm the same. Genetics. Amazing and wonderful, isn't it? Four thousand casts? What? Oh my goodness. Far out, Jackie. Uh, I wonder where or why this evolution came from. It tastes like soap. It is interesting, hey? It's a jellyfish mount dropped for you yet, Fear. Yes, that's why I'm still fishing for it. <laughs> no, of course not. That's why I'm here trying to get the strange group to start the whole series of events off to, to fish up Hiracon to get my guaranteed mount. Okay. Choosing an outcome. you were using. I don't have any fishing mods. I, I just have my my cast on my like mouse button so that I can just side click and then click the thing. What are you seeing as a mod? Um, I don't use anything. I don't I don't use any. Uh, if you can tell me what you're seeing that you think is an add-on, I can tell you what add-on that is. But, um, I don't use any fishing add-ons at all. I'm 
for spell rotations, but I haven't found one yet. Uh, what do you want the add-on to do for spell rotations exactly? I'm so confused, Blue. <laughs> what do you what do you mean put put what on my cursor? Maybe mean GSA. Well that's a bit different from an add-on for spell rotations. It's um it that's why I asked truly specifically what exactly they were looking for in an add-on. Because GSE is an option, but that might not be what they're looking for. They might be looking for like an on-screen guide that tells them what button to push rather than pushing it for them or something. I'm not sure. That's why I'm asking. Or is. Um, I do have the, the little button and the arcane intellect. That's a weak aura that Jack made for reminding you to use particular buffs and stuff. So like uh, it's telling me that I don't have any food in my bags and that I don't have arcane on. So if I... Pop arcane intellect, that goes away. And if I cast and then grab from the table, that'll go away. Nice and easy. Why is oh the table's like in the water, but then not. It's very confusing. Very confusing. Uh so I was thinking it was an add-on paper is what I'm thinking of. Right, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's that's nothing to do with fishing, that's just buffs and, and stuff. Um, uh, but yeah, the cursor, um, like the fishing hook versus the little hand, that's, that's standard Blizzard UI, I'm pretty sure, um, to let you know that you're mousing over the bobber. Ah, uh, twice now. Oh, well done, Meaty! You're going alright, you're going alright. Tell me what spell I should do next instead of button mashing. Yeah, I'm not sure of another one that does that, unfortunately. You might be able to find a weak aura that might figure it out, but there are I think there are just too many specs out there at the moment that are reactive, rather than like one, two, three, three, one, two, three, three. Do you know what I mean? Like they're all kind of like when this happens, push that button, and if this happens, like pop that cooldown and blah blah blah. Like it's all too reactive nowadays, you know, because it's more interesting, it's more fun. You don't get too many classes where it's literally a rotation, like old school times. Uh, hello, Barry. Still sense in your eyes. Sometimes life kind of sucks. You've got this. Aw, thank you, Barry. That's so sweet of you. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs. So, throw up the chips and rotation. Next DPS is a rotation helper. Most of the results have been sent. Dog. Hey, of course my day is good. Brilliant. I'm so glad to hear that, Barry. And if you're able to stick around, we've got giveaways all day as well. Free stuff's always a good feeling. Ah, I used it when I came back after they changed priest around to help me learn. Use max DPS, there you go. Ah, uh, want me to find? You can you can search it. Ugh. I can always jump on there and have a look and see. 512 attempts for Strange Goop. None yet. Where is Givy? Gimme, gimme. Oh, This is fine. Everything is fine. No more beans. Spell flashes also okay. Lights up important spells. Uh, have you done much of the raid? Uh, I did three bosses with attempts on the fourth on Wednesday with Carpe Diem, with Krazy, his guild, and Jas, of course. Uh, Enchanted Winterborn Rune Stag. Oh, are you guessing my mount makeup? No, it was the Bloodbathe Frostbrood Vanquisher. Uh, and Shiba guessed it. 
No class to push harder content. I'd strongly recommend not using max DPS or Hercule. Uh, also, what class you play, some specs are a lot more reactionary than others, which can cause rotation help us a bit of trouble in maximizing a damage, which is what I said. Like, <laughs> actual, like, rotation rotations aren't really much of a thing anymore. I mean, some classes have them at some points, but the vast majority of them are, like, when this happens, push this. Uh, did you find them fun? Yes. Yes, you would like to be very nice. Thank you. Yeah, just a little pop of blue on the inside there. Just a little bit. Yeah, I like it. I think it looks kind of cool. I'm liking the color combos lately. But yeah, I did find the bosses fun. They're uh, a little bit different. But like, different in a good way, you know? It's new... Fun little mechanic-y thing. Well, not, not necessarily new mechanics, but new ways of having mechanics interact with each other. Um, easy enough to pick up. Well, like, not so challenging it doesn't make sense, you know? Once, you, once you've seen them a couple of times, it's pretty straightforward in how to get around it. It's just then maximizing your DPS while still paying attention to the, me uh, to the mechanics. <clears throat> Beep. Hello, X. How you doing? Yeah, that was the aircon. <laughs> Specific one is difficult to do. You're different in a stressful way. I need to spam hydrates when you run low. Good. But liquid are finding out right now. Jas was telling me a Chinese guild got first, uh, like, got uh, world first heroic clear. Which is pretty awesome. version of these fights look in yeah look <sighs> I'll be fun that's for sure Mythic prog boss looks impossible, not insane. Is it actually, though? Like, is it bugged? Like, so it's actually impossible? Like, the overlap of mechanics is literally an impossible thing to counter or something? Or is it just really, really difficult? Without four piece and double Lego. That's why they're world firsts. That's why they've got all the, the lucrative sponsorships and stuff, because they're, you know, 20 or 30 of, of the 100 people in the world out of 8 billion humans who are capable of doing it. If they weren't, they wouldn't they wouldn't have all those sponsorships and they wouldn't have those brand deals and, and yeah. Some of the yeah. It's so mechanically perfect to be able to overcome that synergy gap. Oh yeah. Yeah, like most of them will have four piece because they're they're the kind of group who's gonna funnel back here. Like they're absolutely going to be trading it where they can to get other like to get the people who need it, the most important players, their four sets first. Um like But uh yeah. Um, I remember before his story creative how they did their splits. Uh, was the mount I won the one which comes to six months sub by chance? It is! Correct! Have the mount already. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Noted. Uh, is there someone who died? There were plenty of other people who entered, yes, uh, but I've already cleared the names of the people who entered. Um, cool. That's alright. I'll make note of it and we'll deal with it later. Um, 
That's why I was asking Nutty if they had it already, because they were saying it, they were having an oops issue, like with the with the um, uh, store. That's why I was just double checking with them that they didn't already have it, because it is a six monthly sub mount. Like it's very very like it's quite common among people who play like a lot. Uh, but yeah. Um. Uh, right. Did you actually do all the pre-farm for that rare? This is the first step, Mr. Vicar. Why, why the actually? <laughs> like your incredulosity at my fishing. This is step one. Fish up strange group. <laughs> Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, so most of day one this week pushing to get everyone four piece. Yeah. Uh, after the stream, you're offering so much cash for people get them to drop and trade them on their splits. Wow. Cash, like actual money, Jess. Or gold. Be careful what your what words you're using, because one of those is against that's against one of them is against Blizzard's terms of service, and one of them's perfectly okay. So like be real bloody careful with your wording here. Uh effort went there, went to to get four pieces insane, fifteen people loot locked, nine people who already have it. One raider from the team Certainly records as well. Raiders guaranteed the answer. That for every raider, yeah. That's they get paid. They literally have contracts to play the game full time, and those contracts are reliant on them placing in a world first race. This is their job, literally. This is their job. Um. Gold? Thank you, Jas. Yeah, just be bloody careful with what you're saying, yeah? Because it's... Cash is not gold. I have a mill for turning out, five mil for trade. Hey, Phoenix, doing well, how are you? Welcome back. Make up to begin some out yet? Yeah, we did. We are two hours and forty minutes in. I'd be a little bit disappointed if we hadn't guessed it yet. Uh, but it is a bloodbound, blood bathed, blood bathed frost brood vanquisher. I know, right? Look, there's been there's been a couple times. There's been a couple times. This reminds me of Dragon Age. I don't think I've ever played Dragon Age. It is really nice music, though. I like it a lot. Uh, one day you might pick them out. That stumps us all. Absolutely. When he's talking the city sort of music, Echo Ren splits for something like forty-five characters. You've got to be flexible. Every all you need is twenty in the kill group, but those twenty don't have to be the same all the way through. You stack for some. You stack other things for other ones. Sometimes you might need three tanks. Sometimes you might need seven healers. You do what you got to do. Enough people so that every single group can be perfectly optimized. It's amazing, isn't it? Like. And then you got to remember that there are the there are the people who don't actually do the raiding. They don't do the raiding, but they are in the back end doing all the strategizing and figuring out, okay, we're going to need three mages for this one and two warriors for that one and blah, 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 and doing all that kind of stuff. And then one person who compiles out that and goes, these are the 45 different tunes we need. How do we split these across the players that we have? Who's going to be asleep when? <laughs> How are we going to, like, rotate them out for sleep breaks so that we always have the optimized group for whatever we're doing? Like, it's... They have a whole team 
where it's not just the people who are in the raid. It's a it's a business. <laughs> it's a business with employees and their job is to kill bosses in World of Warcraft faster than anybody else. Stressful bloody job, let me tell you. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, is that cool? Even just figuring out the optimization for sorting groups to splits and mythics to get gear is amazing. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Limit is also offering 10 million gold for your guild if you trade. Cool. Yeah, well, that's... If they've got the gold to use, might as well. What else are they going to spend gold on? Hats off to people working in the background. Oh, absolutely. Hats off to the whole lot of them, to be fair. Like, playing the game isn't easy either. Because they're the ones in the, like, in the limelight, in the, you know, that everyone sees and, and makes their opinions and stuff about. Yeah, no, I have utmost respect for those teams. I, I do not ever want to do that. Ever. Maybe I would present for them. But that's it. I'm curious if they're buying mats for flasks and stuff or if they've got people farming for them. Um, probably people that they're paying gold to. Or they have people who are part of the company who, you know, it, it's again their job to play the game and to, to collect this stuff for them, but more likely they're probably just buying it off the auction house. Buying it off the auction house for gold is a hell of a lot cheaper than paying a human a wage to farm mats and stuff, like, you know. Column A, column B, members of the guild, the farm materials are rich over cutting edge. Yeah. Like later on. I'm going to take DK on surfing and leveling it when I'm bored of my main. Brilliant. Well, there's a rank above KSM as well, remember. I used to be just pretty safety kind of as well. Just time to justify paying for a new subscription. I get that. I get that. If you had enough time to farm up the gold, sure, but like, do you know what I mean? It's uh
But there's bait to fish up just the the blue ones. I didn't realize. That's kind of cool. Where did I get? Did I get that animal webbing from the kill? I must have. Interesting. Oh. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so like 2k rating is Keystone Master and then there's one above that that gives you like ports to the um or a title or I can't remember exactly but yeah there's a I think clearing it on a 20 timing it on a 20 gets you a portal to that dungeon but then there's one for 3k rating which is a, I think it's a title um so, I'll go get it then good time to start uh, honestly, every single profession has a place. It really depends on what you're trying to get out of your professions. Like, are you trying to make gold? Are you trying to create gear for your character? Are you trying to make consumables? Are you, like, are you trying to make toys or mounts? Or, like, what what do you want out of your professions? Because that, that is literally the only reason to take professions is to get something out of them. So it depends on what you want out of them. Change music. Yeah, doesn't bother me. Still nice music. Just do them all. Can't and well. Two main, two main uh, major professions, and then the miners. So we're gonna go in clearing zones. A quest recently I'm now almost empty in the close zones. So I only have five quests. Ah, oh, feels strange. Oh wow. Can't and well. No. You get three primary. Pro sorry, two primaries, and then you've got the secondary professions. The three of them. You can take all three. I'm not a paladin. Uh. <laughs> uh, what I want out of my professions is easy teleporting, engineering, and cheaper flasks, alchemy, which we can do all on one character. Baby, do, 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 do. <laughs> Guys. Someone in the group has a lure again. do it all in one character. I miss having alts in Final Fantasy though. No alts. What would you do when you get sick of playing a warrior? You change jobs. One character, one one tune can learn all of the jobs. So you just you just switch from a mage to a warrior to a priest to a shaman to whatever. All on the one tune. Right, Final Fantasy is doing where you can have one character do all the roles and all the jobs. Yeah, that's yeah. Um uh, it would it would require a recoding of the entire game from the ground up, basically. Uh, so it's not going to happen <laughs> unless they did WoW 2. Uh, but we'll see. Only one way to see if that happens, and that's to hurry up and wait. I like not being able to have all impressions on one tune. It gives me another excuse to have to do stuff on alts more. Yeah, I do like having an army of alts. It's a nice kind of feeling. Uh, you can be all combat classes on one character in XMB. Have different names. BSV is right. Well, yeah, no shit. <laughs> Come on. I don't think everyone's that, like, people some credit. <laughs> um, uh, I share the same bags and the transport inventory. No way, they're different people with different personalities. Uh, 
Oh, I don't really like the need to swap and spend 10 minutes loading, but I'm like... Not here to my marshmallow. Uh, 10 minutes loading is, uh... That sounds like a computer issue. Or a you have entirely too many out-of-date add-ons kind of issue. Um, my load screens are very, very quick. Very quick. Um, so obviously the more add-ons that you have, the longer it's going to take to load, and the more stuff, like, uh, the more stuff you have on your hard drive, the longer it's going to take to load. If you've got an old-school hard drive versus an SSD, um, the old-school hard drive will take longer to load, etc, etc, etc. Um, but my load screens, like, when I was doing, when I had most of my add-ons turned off, just the absolutely necessary ones turned on, uh, for Heartbreaker farming, my load screens were sub-10 seconds every time. It was, like, three to four, sometimes five seconds to, to get into a new tune. Just because I turned them all off. Because <laughs> I wanted to get in as quick as I could. Um, so probably, no, I know that, but, like, I know that some people do actually have multiple minute long load screens, and I just wanted to make sure that people were aware that, uh, that's the thing you can fix. Um, if you so, if you so desire. If you so desire. Fairy, Zam, and Penguin, congratulations on your bonus shit. Uh, someone has summoned Hurricane again. Uh, so this is, how do you stop? How do you stop dying in Shadowlands? It's driving me insane. Uh, I don't pull anything more than I know I can handle. For goodness sake. It's very loud. Given the squid is entirely on the top of my head, it kind of makes sense, but... That's interesting. Uh, I just got the Orolid Lattice. But that's the second time I've killed it. They've actually removed the loot lockout from it entirely. Interesting. Uh, this is just having an SSD. It's not like any amount of loading is more than click button change job class. Yep, very true. Very true. And you won't be in the same place like if you've logged out over there and you're switching to that character and stuff. Totally makes sense. But yeah, it, it really just depends. Like, I've played very, very little Final Fantasy. And so it'd be weird to me, like, switching everything on, on the same tune. Kind of like, what? Um, it really... I guess it depends on what you're used to makes other things seem weird. It's like, uh, I, I wouldn't ever main anything other than a mage. Because I'm so used to having my portals. No one takes my portals away from me. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, uh... Yeah. But yeah, I got the, uh, the Oralid Lattice. Um. Cool. Uh, right, so it is just past one, and that means we're opening up the Jar of Happiness again. So change their names to- I don't think so. Oh, uh, it screams about five seconds. It screams from the old laptop. Yeah. <coughs> it definitely- it definitely has an effect, eh? Why would either freeze during loading take a while to load? That changed when finish tag <laughs> also got an SSD. Definitely helps. What do we have? <gasps> Guys, you can't see because it's too bright, but it says Lucky Shamrock Earrings! So there's a story behind this one. Uh, this is a physical <coughs> item that will be shipped out to whoever wins. Uh, by me. Uh, I'll be paying uh, postage out of my pocket, so that's the thing. Uh, but... These gorgeous earrings, they're uh, <laughs> sterling silver, so if you're allergic to sterling silver, that's a thing. They are for pierced ears. Um, they're very easy to apply, very easy to attach, all that kind of stuff. But um, these were gifted to me via throne. They were suggested by Anon and then Anon purchased and had them sent to me. Uh, but I got another set this is it's still like heat sealed in its thing completely like not opened i haven't touched it but on the bottom it says sterling silver shamrock earrings for women irish celtic gifts <laughs> so that's what it says on the bottom so um so i'm giving away this set this is the set i'm giving away so the person who wins you will need to give me your shipping address there's there's no way around that so, if you are not comfortable giving me your shipping address, I will not use it for anything else. God, I put, like, I'm not going to put anyone at risk. Like, no, that, that would also risk myself. Uh, but this is, this is what we are giving away, is a, is a pair of these earrings. So, 
Let's jump back in here. But yeah, just to let you know, this is not associated with Throne. This is not associated with anyone. I got an extra set. I can't use an extra set. I'm giving them away. Um, so I will be paying for these to be put in a thing and then shipped to your address. Uh, so I will need to know where you live. Um, or if you have a PO box or something like that. Or one of those, I know in Australia we have those, like the postage lockers, the postal post lockers. So I can send it to a, like a post office. And they have like, you can, and it's not like a, a permanent PO box like I have, but you can like hire one for it and then it, they'll just put it in there for you and you unlock it and get it later with the code or whatever. But yeah, so this is a whole, I need to know a location to which to ship these. I can't just get an email address or use a username. I need a proper full address and often it means a full name to address it to as well or a business name if, if that's uh, something that you can use. So, your way's open. You must be following to win. You must be following to win. Uh, let's do, uh, uh, they used for crafting mounts and pets in the forge. They are. The Oralid lattice looks like it's only used for pet, uh, for battle pets. Four different battle pets, according to ATT. Oh no, three. Archetype of Renewal, Proto Tickles, and Terra Jelly. I don't know if I have anything for any of them, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, I feel like having one, two for all classes loses a bit of identity for me. Totally fair. Look, everyone's going to be, like, there are going to be so many different feelings about two very, very different playstyle, very different game systems. I think they absolutely both have some phenomenal benefits, uh, and they also have some drawbacks that the people who aren't used to them might not feel particularly comfortable with. Um, but I don't think that either of them is the right or wrong way to do it. Um, I'm definitely used to uh, Ava Jig. I was not comparing it to Final Fantasy, no, no. I was just saying that if you are very much used to one thing, there is a very good chance you don't want to play, you, want, you don't want to do something different because you know you enjoy what you're doing. So people may not want to have all of their stuff on one tune because they like having an army of alts. Just like I don't want to play a warrior because I like being a mage because of portals. It was just an example. Um, yeah, one, two, uh, this. I'm too stingy. Uh, Barry, look, that's how I got to three million gold. I'm stingy. <laughs> I feel you. Uh, both games have pros and cons of the systems. Exactly. Love the idea of overachiever tune. Just hustling their little butt off. Yas. Oh, other jobs. Ooh. This is region based, I imagine. No. No, they're they're pretty light and they'll go in a pretty small package. So I'm just I'm um, I'm if I'm not gonna send them express post if it's gonna cost me two hundred and seventy dollars. Like I'm not an idiot. Um, uh, I will be going for the most economical version, f uh, economical postage available for me. So I cannot guarantee that it'll arrive by a certain date or anything like that. Um, I will not be responsible for any issues that happen. Like once I ship it, I'm golden. Um, uh, but yeah, no, it's uh. I'm not, I'm not going to region lock it because, you know, I've, I've always said I, I love, you know, I, I would love to be able to send stuff all over the world on my own dime. And I mean, granted, this isn't much, but it's still something. So if I can do as, because there are a couple of things in here that are region locked. Um, so I'm going to try to reduce, I'm going to try to limit how much of it is, is region locked as possible. They're very pretty. I get them sent to post office too and collect from there. Yes. Yep. Uh, depending on where you live. Like, I don't know if other countries have that available. I know Australia does, but I don't know about other countries. Um, have we confirmed luck still works without putting in ears? I don't have those holes. Um, not sure. I mean, I did get quite a few mounts dropping quite early on. Um, but since the, uh, since I got KSM, I think there might still be recharging because I haven't had any, like, super lucky happenings since then. Or maybe I just asked too much of them for Heartbreaker and they're exhausted and they're, they're trying to recover. Uh, <laughs> um, for the Lux. There are also, there are some things out there that you can use to convert 
pierced earrings into like non-pierced earrings I think like the clamps and clips and stuff I don't I don't know I've not like I've had my ears pierced since I was like eight or nine I think um so I I haven't ever had to use them uh and luckily I haven't had any issues with my piercings getting like I mean they do get infected occasionally randomly it's it's great um but I've never had such bad issues with them that I've needed to not have earrings in kind of thing so um I'm not sure but I know that those things do exist because most Jewelry is made for pierced ears, but not everyone has pierced ears, so. Um, let's get the drop. So I did have the glimmers for some and no lattice. And lattice for some, but no glimmers. Good lord. This is a great time, isn't it? Should have seen being a paladin. No, I do not. Incorrect. This time. Uh, at the same time, not having them all on one because you play different races. Which have stopped for the giveaway. Um... Because you're a paladin. I'm not a paladin. Ah. Um, <laughs> sounds very reasonable and generous. Thank you, Seeker. I have I have budgeted. This is there's a budget for this stream. Um, because there's a few a few more things in the jar of happiness that I'm paying for. Um, so there's there's a there, I have set aside some cash to to cover this kind of stuff because I wanna I wanna share the love, you know. Share the love. Don't blame Christmas plans on the earrings. <laughs> yeah. Maybe heartbreaker broke their heart. Did you get heartbreaker? I did not. I did not. Yeah, there's a clip. No, no. Congratulations to Yori. You have won yourself a pair of earrings. <laughs> Yay, Yori! Pretty is indeed. All right. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get you to send. Like, I'm not gonna do it right now. I do. I have your name in my little thing saying who's won what. Um, because there are some people I'll need to reach out to to get details from. Um, but I will reach out either after stream today or please have patience with me tomorrow morning um, to get your information. Uh, and then I will have them posted out as soon as I'm able to. Yay! Fantastic. I love making people happy. This is great. I like this. Uh, let's reset that. Okay. Got some future drops. Did you get those extra runs in over the last three hours? I did. I did. We got to 1600. We got to 1600. Uh, alrighty. Keep in mind, what is that? We've done three. We've got nine. Nine giveaways left to go today. Nine giveaways left to go. Did I? Where did I put the other one that I had? They had a little slip. Is it gone? Bye bye. Best not to put it back in the goddamn Give a jig. Ah, oh, Phoenix! Thank you so much for the bits. Thank you for the biddies. Oh, dear. Ah, oh, this is awesome. You guys having fun? I'm having fun, even though I've been literally fishing for three goddamn hours. Uh, hello. Thank you very much to see her. Yes, fishing stream. I'm trying to get my strange goop and I'm at 619 casts. I, f I, I really don't want to be here all stream. <laughs> Secret on spawn. If you attacked it, if you remember you don't get the 100 minute. Yes, you do, fairy. There's been a hot fix. Um, yeah, we were discussing it earlier. Uh, I, in fact, I've killed two Hiracons today, and I have had drops from both of them. They have hotfixed that. Yeah, just as good as PvP. Look. Look. Hello, Goose. Doing very well, thank you. Hope you can say the same. Um, we could actually put in a fishing stream as a... As a... Like, a, a thingy goal. I reckon. Because I have... Somewhere in here. I still have stuff that I can get from fishing. My god, can you imagine going through and doing all of those fishing dailies on 50 tunes and not getting the bone fishing pole? It's a dragon fishing pole that is 
purchased. Why don't I just go buy that? Weird. Got our own fishing pole. I think I just didn't buy it back when it was, um, like when trans I didn't care about transmog. It's another purchasable one. By the sun well. Oh, that's from a rare. That's from a rare. Ah! Phoenix with the gifted sub. Congratulations, Caden. Your gifted sub. Do you need any of the other fishing mounts? No. I do have three battle pets that I need to fish up. Um, one of the, sorry, one of them is for Nat's Licky Coins, and then the other two are fished. Um... And then there are a couple of weapons as well, but yeah, no no mounts left, just pets and transmog. But it'd be nice to cross off that entire category. Wouldn't be too bad. Right, so sub. Me? Yeah. Starting a prediction. Yum or yuck? Pick well done. Um, Asian fishing guy rep. The um, the have you also done the Fisher friends? That was a fun one. That took me a week or so. The Fisher Friends, it was another Legion fishing thing. They rotated every day. Uh, there, I think there were six of them. And it rotated like through the six and then back through the six again, like one per day. And you went to, you had to go to where they were and each of them had a special currency and you needed to fish up to get their rep up. And then they had a selection of goodies that you could purchase from them once you got their wrap up with each of the Fisher friends. Um, does it match Mithra's hand? They do. They do. Uh, can you still get the fishing artifact or no? I have no idea. I have no idea. You can? Perfect. There you go. I got mine during Legion, so I wasn't too sure if, if uh, you could or not. Okay. Maybe I add fishing stream to the community challenge list. Potential community challenges list. Oh, that's right there. I'm gonna go get it. Your rods in a few days, yas. It's every three days, right? I can go and working my way through the achievements, including professions. Twenty-five fish. Ah, uh, rumbles back in twenty nineteen. Nice. Yeah, I have a bunch of um, guild achieves. Uh, I, I haven't done any guild rated battleground challenges. Um, I'm at seventy five k daily quests, and then I think there's like a one hundred k one after that. Obviously, there's a bunch of PvP ones I don't have. Um, we did a while, but a few years back, we went through and got all of these done. Like, we had a group who, a group of people who joined the guild, and we went through and cleared them all as a guild group. All you had to do was be able to zone in, because most of it was solo level. But then, obviously, we stopped at Legion for that. Um, yeah. Missing. 
Next 1500 feasts, catch 25k. Look, I'm close. And then Pandaria fishing pools, yeah, it's uh, likely not gonna happen. Unless it takes me that long to get those, um, the tiny carbs. That would make me very sad. It's a catalyst user each time, yeah. I miss the next giveaway, stupid phone froze. You did, Dory, you did. Uh, it was 20 minutes ago. On the hour, every hour. <clears throat> We've done three. We have nine to go. Wow, meaty. Holy cow. Go you. Go you. Giveaways. Indeed, Goose. It's my six-year stream anniversary. So we're doing giveaways. Every hour on the hour. Got a whole bunch of stuff from a whole bunch of companies. Um, I have my jar of happiness. I'm drawing a little slip of paper out and it'll tell us what we're giving away that hour. And then I open up the giveaway. Explain what it is and who's eligible and, and then we go. I already have the cup, bugger. Yeah, I've got the red and the white cup still to go. Hey. Who... Oh, who won, as in W-O-N, who won what? Uh, Yori won pair of the Lucky Shamrock earrings. Because uh, Amazon duplicated my order, so I got two of them. Um, so I've got the other little box. And uh, that's going to head in Yori's direction. Which is very exciting. Freddies, I'm so happy for you, Yori. I'm so glad that you are this excited about the earrings. It makes me so happy. That's all I want, you know? Like... You, you run giveaways and all this kind of stuff, especially when you invest your own money into a, into a giveaway as a content creator. And then um, rather than, you know, just random like bits and bobs that people give you to give away and you've never actually, in, you know what I mean? Like when it's, when it's something that you're investing your time and money into, to see someone be genuinely like happy and excited and all this, it just, it makes your bloody day. So thank you. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who's here and who's entering giveaways and, and all that kind of stuff. Like, it, it really means a lot. Awesome. Who is your favorite WoW character? Ooh, that's a real... Oh. That's a really difficult one. Maybe Thrall. He's been through a lot. And, uh, but he, he recognized, and I, I loved the parallels with Chris Metzen's actual life as well. Um, because when, when Thrall stepped down and retired to the Grand and all that kind of stuff, um, he, like, Chris himself was going through some real life shit, you know, like some some real, really, you know, full on life stuff. Uh, but the fact that that Thrall and Chris were able to kind of say, like, they were able to recognize this is this is too much. I don't want this. I want, like, I I need to step away from this. I need to step down. Trying to push through this is only going to do damage to everyone I care about. Um, this this needs to not be me anymore. This needs to be somebody else and stepping away and, and doing that. But then at the same time, he has stepped up when absolutely needed. But, but when he didn't just be like, yes, of course, every single time someone came knocking, it was a, like he, he understood the gravity of the situation and said, okay, just this once. Do you know what I mean? Like it's... Um, I really liked how how honest the character is and how how real that whole situation is. It's that like I'm burnt out and I need to step away, but at the same time I recognize that my people genuinely need me, like, need need, um, and so being able to to recognize within oneself, okay, I do have I have I have stepped back for long enough that I can step up and help this time, uh, and then who knows what he'll do afterwards? Maybe he'll go back. Uh, and, and step down again. But, um, 
and also his willingness to like negotiate with both sides and, and try to find that kind of connection and that kind of stuff. Um, I like that. I like that. I've also quite appreciated Sylvanas. Um, it's getting it's getting a little bit sort of. There's been a lot happening lately, uh, but she is an exceptionally strong female character, and I don't mean it that she in herself has strength as a person. What I mean is that, like her writing and all that kind of stuff, she's she is she's well written. She's she's fleshed out. She's not just the woman or anything like that. There's there's a whole lot to it that's um. There's a whole lot to her that it's she's she's complex. She's layered. She's um. She's messed up in a lot of ways, uh, but she's also broken. Like, but, but truly broken. Uh, and a lot of the writing that's kind of gone through... If you've read um, the short story, When She Jumped Off Ice Ground. Um, and uh, the short story, When She Brought Nathanos a New Body. Because his old one was rotting and decaying. Um, it's messed up. It's, it is so many layers of messed up. So, so very messed up. But it all factors into who she is and why she does what she does. And um, I like that. I like that, I like that there can be a female character who is, I mean, now she's obviously, she's the bad guy moment um but in the past she's been not not a bad she's a bit what was an anti-hero i think is kind of the whole she doesn't want to be there but she is and so she just gets stuff done um yeah i uh i like that she can be this like this, this creature on so many different levels where it's it's just yeah but there's a reason for everything. It's not just she did this because storyline. Um, there's there's actually like everything she does. She's she's been written with care. Um, for the most part, um, you know, you can argue with me until you're blue in the face. I don't care. Um, everything that she's done, there has been a reason for it, and it's not been fucking retconned. I don't know what the word means if you think it's been retconned. Um, but yeah, I. Uh, yeah, those would probably be my two. How about you, Panda? Who are your favourites? Yes, congratulations. So fun. I love new and shiny things. I haven't had a new pair of earrings for ages. Yay! Working, helping my mum for about 100. Whoa! Because we're also writing, I think, just finished. Next story. Writing shop again! Fantastic! A oh, wonderful, Yuri. If you do share it with the world, I can't wait to read it. Like the redemption that they gave her. I would not call it redemption just yet. Um, it's been an explanation for why she's done what she's done and why she's been spiraling into this pit of nothingness. Um, but I, I don't think that she's quite got her redemption just yet. And I like that the other characters are wary of her. I like that none of them wanted to listen to her and Uther was the one, he's like, I recognize her bloody wound. I've got the same bloody one. Shut your faces and listen to me. <laughs> like, he knows what she's been through or has the closest understanding of what she's been through out of every other character in the entire universe. And I like that it was him who, who, bro who, who bridged that gap. Um, I think that was really beautifully done. This one is my fave. Can I wait for the Sylvanas book? I don't hate Sylvanas as a character. Do you hate their story completely negated? My character's motivations and story. Well, not necessarily though. Uh, obviously, it's your character and your story, so I'm not going to tell you you're wrong. Um, but I am going to say not necessarily because even though you're like because your character, you know, your motivation was you know maybe to follow her and all that kind of stuff, it can still have been that. You know, uh, when we were after the thing with Sylvanas happened. Right after the very first thing, after she banshee'd away, 
in Orgrimmar, there were NPCs that were commenting about they were a Sylvanas supporter, blah blah blah. And then there was there was uh, a few of them around the place when they would shun somebody. You know, we don't do business with Sylvanas supporters. And then another NPC would say, "Oi, they didn't know just as much as we didn't know. Nobody could have known what she was planning. They were a Sylvanas supporter then. They are still here." If, if they still supported her in her new actions, they would have gone with her. So bloody help them out with whatever they need. You idiot. Like, do you know what I mean? It, it doesn't necessarily have to obliterate everything. It's just a new path, a new chapter in the story for your character. My motivations for my life as a human were very different 10 years ago than what they are now. Very, very different. When I was 20 bloody two <laughs> compared to 32, that doesn't mean that my motivation and my, my backstory is wrong because I feel differently now. It's an evolution of my character. It's an evolution of who I am. And your characters, like, role-playing characters are, they're, they're exactly the same as us in terms of all that, they can, they can evolve. Just because their motivation was that, they can evolve. So I would say not necessarily. Uh, I also appreciate she's been allowed to be monstrous. Like, I don't agree with a lot of what she's done. Oh, absolutely. Let me be clear. I do not agree with goddamn genocide. On any level. It is wrong. It is despicable. It is disgusting. And it is just plain wrong. In terms of how her story has been written, I, I appreciate that. I don't agree with her. But I, I appreciate the writing. Storyline is so intricate. It's, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't get to see a whole lot of it in, in WoW. Um, uh, a, lot of, a lot of this kind of stuff, all the little nitty gritty bits and pieces happen in the novels and in, in all that kind of stuff. Um, which is fine, because like even if they did put it all in game, how, what percentage of the player base do you think would read it? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's... Uh, um, it's interesting. Uh, I want to get the book about her that Christy Golden has written. Yeah, I'm... I have not actually written... Uh, written. Of course I haven't written. I've never read any of the WoW novels. I've read some of the short stories. Quite, like, most of the, the short stories at this point. And I also have the uh, the book that came with the Battle for Azeroth collector's edition. Like, the, the reversible one with the Horde story and the Alliance story on, on each side of the book. Um, but I am looking at trying to get my hands on a copy of this one. Maybe I'll put it on my wish list or something. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, Christy is, like, watching Christy on the panel on BlizzCon line last round, um, when they were talking about, I think it was the, st I think it was the story of Thrall, and they had, uh, Taryn and Christy and... Uh, someone, I can't remember who the third person was, and I'm so sorry, because I know that they're a big part of WoW and a big part of the war and stuff, but the three of them were talking about this evolution of Thrall and the passion that they had for these characters and these stories is just beautiful. Um, there, are, there are very few people in the world who have that kind of passion for something, uh, and I thought it was amazing to watch, and so I can't wait to see what she's written. Hi, X. Yeah, okay. I feel like a lot of people would have related more if BFA and Shadowlands had more time to develop. Potentially. Yeah, so like as in like stretching the expansion over a longer period of time rather than like a two year block sort of thing. Uh, Thor, Zam, and Death, congratulations on your bonus shit. Oh. Or did you mean like development time leading up to the expansion being launched? Because um, those are two very different types of times. Uh, literally said oi in an Aussie accent too. Correct. Correct. That off you main 100% of the reason I went through the portal to Shadowlands was to kill Sylvanas. That's okay. And you can still feel that way. However, like, Jaina wants to kill Sylvanas. 100%. I wouldn't say the rest of them want to kill her outright, but Jaina certainly bloody does. But she's still there. She's still fighting with them. That's the thing with heroes, is that they can they can take their personal feelings and and reconcile with them and understand this is how I feel. This is what I want. However, 
There are more important things to handle right this minute. Sylvanas dying can wait for a couple weeks while we prevent the Jailer destroying literally everything. Then we'll see how we feel about Sylvanas later. <laughs> like it's it's a it's a case of priorities. Let's let's be honest. Um, but no, I I get that. Uh, what do I have that has dinged? Ah, my baby monk! Yay! Alright, back to here. Um. This one is Lilith being shot. Baby, to na 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 I'm planning to get the audio book. Penny Matson is doing the audio. Yes. Good. As the, as it should be. As it should be. Uh, what about Isandalari, Troll Paladin? The king was murdered by the Alliance. There's been zero repercussions. Yeah. We need dinner. I hope it was delicious. Literally not an apology or even an acknowledgement. Pretty messed up, hey. Uh, I feel a big part of the issue with Shadowlands story is that this big bad guy popped out of nowhere. We have no idea what his real motives are. We've barely even interacted with him or his forces before halfway through the X back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jaina, generally to it, no. No. Uh, Sylvanas was a high elf, I believe. Am I wrong? I know I know Sylvanas was an elf, uh, and Jaina is human. Um, technically, Jaina is called Tyrion. Um, different model, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Ah, tried with the gifted someone. subs. So generous. Thank you so much. My goodness. Hi, the sun so world. generous of you. Thank you. These are already working your way, apparently, so just the fact that you own them is, is enough. They don't even have to be near you physically. <laughs> Hi, the sun Thank world. you for the congrats, Trud. She was a high elf. Thank you. I, 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 want, I, I said that and I'm like, actually? <laughs> Thank you for confirming. I, I appreciate that. Hi, the um, sun world. But yeah, so yeah, no, definitely. They're not related. You should use a funky bubba. Why though? It's effort. <laughs> Just high off, yes, fantastic. Hi, Alright, so I have. What do I got? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Amazing. Thank you so much. And if you got stuck in that, if you got caught in the sub bomb and you feel comfortable speaking in chat, do be sure to thank Trud. High off as in Shiba took in the wacky tobacco. <laughs> no X. It's a, it's a, uh, uh, race of elves. Like you got night elf and blood elf and high elf. Slightly different. Special story is meant to be wrapped up at Legion. Boa beans, indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chad. Either something, something big sword. Yeah, look. My head spin. I never played BFA, so did they seriously never actually resolve the gigantic sword story? Uh, no, not yet. It's just there and there. So when when this so the they didn't really resolve it, but it did lead to BFA. So the idea was that we like the sword got rammed into the planet, which has which has a world soul, Azeroth, in the middle. So Azeroth is now impaled with a sword, baby world soul, uh, and started bleeding, which is Azerite, which started coming up out of the ground. Uh, and then, of course, the Horde and the Alliance went, ooh, resources. And so they started now, when, whenever they saw Azerite popping up here and there, they were mining it because it's explosive and it's magic and it does all this kind of stuff. And so that's where, that's how the story connected to BFA. And then they started going to war because they were warring over the larger deposits of, of uh, Azerite. Um, so, yeah, it, it makes... 
sense, like how it connected, but we didn't, we never resolved the sword, no. The sword is still there. Um, but that's also, like, the sword being there, and that's how we get down to where, um, the, like, the Chamber of Heart is, where Muradin's, like, doing his thing and all that kind of, do you know what I mean? So it's, it, yeah. Um, it is connected to BFA. It did lead directly into BFA, but, yeah, we didn't actually fix it. Big sword is a portal to the even bigger cosmic force we never heard of, but somehow someone says it. What do you mean, never heard of? This is not a 420 elf. No, not a 420 elf. Um, depowered it with their artifact weapons. We haven't removed it or anything. No, but it might also be one of those cases. Like, you know, when you have like a, a major thing, the thing in you, like the sword being stuck in you, is also blocking off. The body's ability to bleed out so if you take it out you cause more damage and then you start bleeding out and then you die whereas leaving it in while they plan how to like cauterize it as they take it out or whatever whatever they're gonna do do you know what i mean like and planning to extract a ginormous sword like that from a literal planet um, <laughs> might be slightly trickier than minor surgery Uh, how we meant to resolve the sword without Titan help, we can't. It is a titanic sword. Like, we, we can't, we can't. Literally cannot. It's the giant sword, yep. Yep. Um... Bit of flesh for you in a definite battle with Sargeras and the Cedar Pantheon for Illidan. Yep. Yep. Illidan went and yep, locked himself in eternal battle to distract him for eternity. Because what else has he got to do? He is a demon hunter. Literally, that's all he does. And this is his entire, li li entire life's purpose. If there are no more demons, he has no more life. As this leads to Illidan becoming a titan or some shit. If they, bro if they brought Illidan back again. At this point, I think half the player base would be like, "Yes, Titan Illidan! And the other half would be like, fucking seriously, again? <laughs> like, oh. They're enjoying a nice coffee now. You're born a Titan, you don't become a Titan. There you go. You got a group. Ah, congratulations. Well done. I don't think I have a group. It doesn't like alerted me or anything. And I've got 731 casts. Ah, no goop. Uh, no, it's like I just time out, need some pies or some things, and there's no story that's under this. It's fun, I expect a lot of people to be surprised. <laughs> so I don't know if we can trade. Uh, I don't know either. I'm sure you didn't. So do you just like drop in to random WoW streams and tell people you didn't do anything wrong? I'd also like to mention that um, if you talk spoilers, you will be timed out. Just FYI. Uh, because we have a lot of community members here who have full-time jobs and kids and haven't been, like they have not had a chance to do any storyline until today. So... Please do be considerate of other players. Thank you. Welcome on in, otherwise. Ah, wonderful. This didn't create any titans. Uh, as in Corthia, there's that horse you have to find and help so many times against map. What's it called? Melee. Yeah. That's it. The one is the one that's destroyed it in Shadowlands. It doesn't really look that way. Mind you, I've not seen any of the cinematics outside of most of the ones we've ever seen. Yeah. Look, we'll, we'll figure it out. We've still got a few weeks worth of um, chapters and stuff to get through. Uh, who knows? Who knows? I think what might be a good ending to her story arc could be, and I, I, this is pure speculation. I haven't read anything, no spoilers, no nothing. Um, 
it would be kind of cool if now that she's been reunited with the chunk of her soul that was missing, if she leaves the Shadowlands, she can't take that part of her soul with her, and so she decides to stay here. And so Azeroth can move on from her influence, and she just stays in the Shadowlands, helping to fix all the shit that she broke while she was there with the Jailer. That could be, like, that would that would mean that, you know, she doesn't get this big explosive, you know, death ending, um, but also it's kind of the Illidan ending, where he's gone off to fulfill his purpose and do do his thing, and that's that, you know, so his, his influence will no longer be felt, but we know what he did, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Ah, good, so you're just a troll. Brilliant. Um, just raise one to troll. Next one. Two. Your wrath literally can't create titans, very specifically the soul of a world. It'd need to create new worlds to do that, but it does. Isn't Zareth Mortis the place where they created all of the afterlives? Those are technically worlds. Are they not? Make the choice as the end of her story. Like, yeah, I th like, and and having that connection again, and knowing what she did in Azeroth, and how despicable it is, and knowing that if she chooses to leave this part of her behind, there is nothing stopping her from going back and doing that again. Um, because the new the the bit of her soul that she got back seems to be one hell of a conscience, right? That's that's her conscience. So, um, yeah, I know. Uh, doesn't it create the aspects of the afterlives which then created their zones? Okay. Right, I must have missed that bit because I heard it creates the afterlives. Um, these are where the afterlives, this is where all these places we've been traveling so far, this is where they, those were created, uh, is what I got from the, the introductory. And granted, this was like the announcement trailer, um, so that's what I got from that. Uh, I'm not sure where you've got the additional information from because uh, I've been reading all the quest lines along with you, but. I don't know, maybe I've just missed a few bits of key information. Or was it just the Shadowlands after lives were created in ZM? Yes. Uh, I thought ZM was the origin of all life. I thought it was the afterlife, but I could be wrong. Because, I mean, the Jailer, like, Zoval wants this. He wants control of this place to remake the entire universe. So it has to have some kind of potential to do that, you know? Like, it's... It's a prototype of life. Yeah, exactly. Except none of them look like anything we found on Azeroth. <laughs> we were, I want Vombata on Azeroth. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, a new a new zone, Zerith Mortis, a brand new outdoor zone in the edge of reality. Zerith Mortis is the forbidden realm of the first ones. Zerith Mortis is considered a workshop to the first ones, where they create the afterlives souls go to in the Shadowlands. Zerith Mortis will be the main story content of Patch 9-2. So... Like... Where they create the afterlives souls go to in the Shadowlands.
When I looked into it, it created the aspects and their afterlives. A big orb in the middle is named the Forge of the Afterlives. Yep. Which contradicts what old mate in Oribos told us earlier in the expansion. Pretty sure it's Furium's Lost Journals that explain what the Xerath is. Yeah, I've only picked up two of those so far. I should pick up the rest of them. I didn't want to read them out of order, so I've got part one and part three. So I should go grab the rest of them, eh? <laughs> Journals are very important. Okay, good. Maybe I should do that after fucking strange goop drops. Now, as in life, some old mates don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, exactly. Especially if they're, um, if they're only operating on the knowledge that they have and they've never actually seen it for themselves. They may not know exactly what happens here, you know? Like, you gotta, you gotta remember that this is, they're all operating on what they've been told. Everyone in this entire game, every NPC is operating on what they've been told. Or what they've learned by seeing for themselves. Use a shift into the Arbiter, you think he knows stuff. Yeah, but maybe the Arbiter didn't want to share everything. Maybe the Arbiter didn't know everything. The Arbiter is not the creator of all that exists. The Arbiter only knows what they know, you know? Sort of manipulated by the jailer cartels and that's just throughout, though. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Like, nothing is what it seems. Nothing. Nada. Ooh, I have a gift. Ah ha ha. Cute. Sorry, I've got a suggestion on the throne. Ooh. Where is my strange goop? I'm on 768 attempts. <clears throat> it's fine. It's fine. Uh, considering the Arbiter being kind of AI, Chief is probably nothing more than tech support. Look. Look, be very careful. We're touching on important more stuff here. Yes. Arbiter sees all. Well, see, my understanding of the Arbiter seeing all was that the Arbiter saw all. Like, every time the Arbiter got a soul, they could see their entire life to determine which afterlife to send them to. That's how I interpreted that. Why would it matter what's going on in Ardenweald to not send it? Do you know what I mean? It doesn't matter what's going on there. If this soul belongs there, that's where they go. Until, of course, Zovar went kadonk and everything went to crap. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? How, like, all the interpretations and stuff differ. It's super cool. Alright, I should get these beans done, because I've been sitting here since Trud gifted those subs, and I feel kind of bad. So, bean! Focused on that soul role, was unaware of the incoming attack, everything that came after. Yep. This is Legion. Wow, it's been getting a lot darker. Well, the player base has also been getting older. We can deal with it a bit more. Um, as has the, you know, the people writing and programming and all that kind of stuff. Like, the, the whole community around the game has aged with it. And we are now more capable of handling darker content than we were back then. 
sci-fi. It's a big dungeon. Well done, Caden. Congratulations. It's also very interesting. It's very, very interesting. I am grateful. Ah! Landa, thank you so much for the donation. Oh, another bean in the... Where's she? Six years. <laughs> Cheers to you too, Landa. Thank you so much for all your kind words. And thank you for the donation. For the tip. Out the Sheba. Good Sheba. They're like... Which, which one? What is it called? My boss is down on all. Well done. Congratulations. Boss is up to Anduin. Fantastic. To eat a bean. It is. I've just added it to the, to the thingamajig. I'll track pup. Okay. Awesome. I think. That's what the old track pup looks like. Oh, it is called Shibasu. Right. Good. I'm a numpty. I didn't realize. I forgot that I had one actually named after you. Um, my bad. <laughs> Here we go. Hopefully, Shibasu will bring me the strange goop. Ah, uh, thank you, Mins. Thank you so much for the kind words and thank you for the happy anniversary wishes. Contributing to our goal. Yes, we're so close. My God, 342k. How? When did that happen? All right, bean time. good. Oh, um, I missed one. Want to know where they plan to go? Maybe the strange aspects of the gods. Uh, we go back more terrestrial issues in Azeroth next. We find out on the 19th of, uh, April. Um, the thing on your launcher that says future of Warcraft, that's their announcement dates. If you click into that, it'll tell you they're announcing a Hearthstone expansion, they're announcing the WoW expansion, um, they're announcing something else to do with the Hearthstone, I think, and then they're announcing an entirely new mobile-only game set in the Warcraft universe. In, like, May sometime. But 19th of April, 20th, crack -dawn 20th for us, it'll probably be like 2 or 3 a.m. on the 20th, which is a Wednesday for us. Uh, that is when they're announcing it. And you bet your ass I'm staying up all night. <laughs> so yeah, we've got just over a month until we find out where we're going next. Um, theoretically, would you prefer to receive a carp as a gift or fish it up yourself? You know, theoretically, in case someone has one sitting around spare, theoretically. <laughs> um I don't know I don't know because there absolutely is a sense of satisfaction for getting it yourself like fishing it up yourself um at the same time I have so many bloody things to get <laughs> that one thing off the list is is gonna help um, I know that there are people out there who enjoy gift giving and it brings them joy and my whole point of this is to bring people joy and if giving me something brings a person joy then who am I to tell them no. Um, but also being able to sell that pet will bring them gold which may also bring them joy. So I don't think I am happy to fish it up myself but I would not be upset if I were to receive one as a gift. I don't have a preference for which way I would want to have it happen. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Uh, there is another uh, prediction up for another bean. BT dubs. It's going to be banana and strawberry or dead fish. Ah, uh, wins again. Yay, panda! Fantastic. Once again. 
16 people. Oh my goodness. 16.26 more max donations. Oh dear. I guess I'm very keen to find out plans for the future. Yes, me too. Me too. I feel like a political campaign manager who's tenuously holding on to their job while the intern creeps in on their turf. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that's hilarious. In this case, the intern has been around for longer and has the ability to bend me. <laughs> if first you want to go, I'll have you know. Oh dear. Look at all these. Ah, oh, look at all these these contributions to the community challenge. You guys just want to see me suffer, don't you? Speaking of suffering. Some of my jungle love. Ugh. All right, before we do more beans, it's jar of happiness time. Um, look, I'm gonna assume. I'm gonna assume that's how it's spelled. I don't know. It's, it's like Segway, right? Like the scooter. <laughs> Slightly different. All right, what are we giving away? Ah! I know you can't read it, but it says Bubble Tea Club. $25 gift card. I think I've seen it spelt maybe twice, but I don't remember, Shiba. Bubble Tea Club. 25 Australian dollar gift card. Now, these guys do have a restriction on where they ship. Before I open up the giveaway, so Bubble Tea Club is the bubble tea company at home, the DIY bubble tea kit company uh, that I am affiliated with. I have a link that you can use and a code you can use for a discount that will get you, uh, that will get me commission. Uh, I've gotten a couple of orders in the last kind of week or so, so many appreciates for that. I hope you enjoy your bubble tea. Um, they ship to Australia, New Zealand, the United States, and Canada. If you are outside of those countries, you will not be able to get them to ship to you. It, it is unfortunate, but it is, is the way it is. I did say a few of the things in the jar are region locked. This is one of them. So Australia, New Zealand, United States, and Canada. So it's not locked down to just Australia, but it is, it is a little bit locked down. So that is a heads up for this one before I do the thing. Now, the other thing is that uh, this is not sponsored. Not sponsored. I am purchasing these cards and sending them to the prize winners. Uh, they know that I'm doing this but it is not, they're not helping me out. They're not giving me the cards. There's nothing, this is not sponsored. This is 100% my own cashola. Um, so bubble tea club, 25 AUD gift card. Cool, so now that we're all aware of that, Australia, New Zealand, United States, Canada, not sponsored, coming out of Fia's pocket. Awesome. Giveaway is open. It's also 25 Australian dollars. Exclamation giveaway to enter. You must be following to be able to win. Mm. Segway is the scooter. It is. It is. Segu is correct. I thought it was. I thought it was. So motivated to win this one. Good. Good. Browse the secrets, my. <laughs> I love that this is like a popular one. Rubux, indeed. Dollary doos, as some may refer. Holy cow, this is a problem. Sigu, I mean, is that not how it is spelt? <laughs> it's all good. All good, Sigu. All good. Have my head right. Australia, New Zealand, United States, Canada must be following to win. This crossed. Shiny Segu scooter. Fuck yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
you know, I have to say, chatting to you guys means that this definitely doesn't feel like I've done 800 casts. <laughs> it still feels like bad, but it doesn't feel like 800 casts. Alright, channel, Seeker, and Zem, congratulations on your bonus shit from Stream Raiders. That is not the giveaway being drawn. Uh, we're jumping in for the skin chest. I have both the skins now, but I'm gonna jump in here for you guys because I'm sure that not everyone... Because there's 15% chance for captains to get a skin, but I think it's a little lower for you guys. Because you have more slots that you can get from the... what's it? Oh, I have so many things that are completed. I need to turn some of these in. Okay. Four hours worth of fishing so far. I know! It's only been four hours of fishing. It's ridiculous. I feel like I should have gotten more casts than 200 an hour, but we'll see. I'm so down for a segue, man. In games, to be honest. That'd be kind of entertaining, not gonna lie. Spend some time and collect your gold or my good. I'm, try I'm, try I'm trying. Alright, uh... Cool, let's hop back in here. Now, what is it asking me to place? Orc Slayers. I can't. It's got 12 minutes left still, so I do need to kill ranged enemies. What is strong against range? It's ground and air. Let's see. That's what I meant to do. Good. Do we have any ranged melee unit? Range 1. Why is a phoenix not a Range five, so Manticore, the 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 little they seem to be do I have anything that is strong like, yes. It's a paladin, of course it what he is. Okay. I don't think they're actually ranged, but let's see. Cool. So it's wicked flips. Hey V, thank you so much for the well wishes. You made one wheel. They do have the the one wheel thing that you sit in the middle of the wheel from um uh M Mechagon. Mechagon. Now I get look shush. Shush. Alright, congratulations to Hi the Sun went. Goose! Oh, holy! Ah, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub out of bean to my pile. Much appreciated. I am definitely enjoying Anniversary Day. Thank you so much for the well wishes. Thank you for the resub. Goose and Clover, you have won the Bubble Tea Club $25 gift card. Uh, where are we? Goose and Clover. What I will do after, after stream, possibly tomorrow morning, depending on how screwed I am after stream tonight, I will reach out to you and I will get your email address. All I will need is your email address um, and I'll be able to shoot you over your digital, your e-gift card. I hope that you have an amazing time picking out your flavors and making your own bubble tea from scratch. I'm so excited for you. So what do we got left? We've got four, we're four down, eight giveaways to go. Eight giveaways to go. Um, Rust Feather, yeah. Uh, we've got to say we're much flying over Cliffface's content. Six years in, how different does it feel to what you thought it would? I don't know. I don't think I ever really thought about, like, back when I started, I don't think I ever really thought about the future of where I would end up or anything like that. I was just kind of doing it for funsies. Uh, and then as I kind of got more into it, I enjoyed it more and I'm like, okay, I want to, I want to be a partner. That'd be nice. And then I was like, no bloody hell. I want to be a partner. Like I want to do this. Um, and then I did. And it's, it's, I think it's a lot more work than I ever imagined it could be. Like playing video games on the internet for an audience is a whole lot more work than I ever thought it would be. But I'm not unhappy about that. I'm, I'm still trying to find my flow. I, I've been doing like the social media stuff and things for only about eight months now, like properly. Um, and I'm still trying to find the most effective way for me to get what I need to get done done. Cause it's a big job. It's a really big job. And I, I don't think that uh, a lot of people really 
recognize that. And that's okay. Like you don't know when it's one of those things that you don't know unless you're in it. You, you can't possibly know unless you're in it. Um, so yeah, it's, um, it's hard. It's hard work, really hard work, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Is your little thing? Yeah. Are you gonna have a Fjallin skin on stream raiders? So I mean, I technically do. It's a it's a head skin, so it's my head on the on the paladin's body. So uh, if you would like one of those, you're welcome to purchase one. I get a fifty percent cut of the revenue, so fifty percent revenue share. Seeker hates you, Nagus. No, not at all. There is potentially maybe. I did say that there is not just one. None of none of the things in the jar. Uh, none of the companies that I mentioned have just one piece of paper in there. So, look. Stay tuned! Um... This entire raid group was going to be great content. Very happy to see anyone get something exciting. Absolutely! Thank you! Yay, Goose! Congratulations! It's your entertainment. Uh, how's the stream? The giveaway is going. I went for a nap. Wonderful. I hope you had a fantastic nap. It's going really well. We're four giveaways down, eight to go, and I still don't have a strange goop. And I'm on 817 casts, and I'm starting to get a little bit over it. But I'm stubborn. I'm very, I'm not patient. People go, oh my gosh, you're so patient. How could you do 800 casts in one sit? Nope. I am stubborn as hell. Stubborn as hell. It's fair enough. I think I just start taking a look at the website, I guess. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I've been my mage class so far myself, though. What about my email then? Oh, so um, what I will do um, either after stream tonight or tomorrow morning, depending on how I'm going, <laughs> uh, I'll send you a DM asking for your email address so that I can email you your uh, gift card. Because it is an e-gift card. I don't need to post it to you or anything like that. Um, I'll just be able to email it to you. Uh, but I'll do that in DMs because I don't want you giving out personal information to the general public. Um, and of course, I would never use your email address for anything other than distributing your price. Because I will forget on it. I will forget it. Uh, <laughs> said ad break. Oh no, that's okay. Page no stubborn. Exactly. You're stubborn and focused. There's a difference. Uh, sometimes I'm focused. Right now, I think I'm stubborn and distracted. But I'm glad for the distraction because it means that it doesn't feel like 821 casts. It doesn't feel like that at all. It feels like I've just been chatting while I fish, you know? And it, yeah. Sounds good. Thank you. Very welcome. Awesome. Yay! Fantastic news. But yes. Uh, eight giveaways to go. One every hour on the hour. Well, for me. I know there are some time zones that are like half an hour off, so... Every hour on the hour for me. Uh, it is roughly when the stream ticks over to a new hour, though. Roughly. Around about. Distracted fear? No, never. Never. Speaking of distracted. Another bean. I have five beans in the box that I need to put in my face. So do you think... That this one will be yum, strawberry and banana, or yuck, dead fish. Save up all your embers, like like use the predictions to grow your embers so that you can contribute more to the challenges. We've got a new challenge, a new community challenge every single week this month. And even when I have surgery for the, the Monday, Wednesday, the Friday, Sunday will still be a thing, but they'll be short streams. So you'll have to like, you have to get in on those ones. And then the next week after that, it's just Monday, Wednesday. And then the rest of it's the next month. But there's still a, a challenge just for those days. So, like, got to get those embers up. You're going to need them. Uh, I mean, this is just chatting stream with WoW in the background. Correct. Correct. Dead fish Lego. Why do you hate me? <laughs> Why do you hate me? Ah, oh, holy with the contribution. Amazing. 351k raise. That is incredible. Just doing multiple runs of things, guys, and stuff for storyline. There's a laser focus thing happening. Look, sometimes. Sometimes. 
I hate you and you know- No, I know. I know. Which is why I said it with like a big grin on my face. <laughs> oh, the prediction's finished. Hands up in chat if you try to tell what it is by the look on my face before the uh, the prediction gets entered. Uh, what server is your horde server? Sourfang. I think you're going to be social media. I know, I know, and I appreciate that so deeply. Mm, okay, yay, panda! Definitely me. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, good, brilliant. I've been trying to like, I've been trying to mislead y'all, but it's uh, I don't think it's working very well. <laughs> All right, let's go again. Do we think it will be yum, buttered popcorn, or yuck, rotten egg? I'm going to sell all of this and make so much gold. Try though. Let's go find how fast you reach for the spitball. Maybe I need to like do all of them just sitting here, seeing how I'm going. Can't hide dead fish, farts, rotten eggs. Yeah, there's some. But the thing is that there are some beans that take a little while for the flavor to actually happen because they've got that, like, the sugar shell on them. They do take a second to actually, like, turn into whatever the flavor is going to be. Sounds like a pain. No, I had, we had a couple sub bombs, so I'm catching up on beans. Um, $5, 500 bits, or a tier one sub is a bean. Tier two is two, tier three is five as per uh, Bitfest rules. It's power, you have to wait for it and it hits you like a dump truck on fire. You are not wrong. That is exactly what happens. <laughs> that is exactly what happens. All right. Yeah. I've got jelly beans stuck up the back and I can't tell whether it's a nice one or a not nice one. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Yeah, that was rotten egg. Through and through. Oh, I was supposed to click that. God damn it. Paying enough attention. Missing casts. Um. Imagine there are good flavors are sometimes confusing, especially if you're bracing for trash flavor. Mm, so buttered popcorn has a really fake butter flavor and I don't like it. It's almost like this sweet, but buttery, like it's just, it's not right. It's a really black kind of taste. Um, the ones that are either skunk spray or licorice, I just throw out at the beginning because they're both bad. I don't care. Uh, I don't like licorice. Um, uh, the... Sometimes the Tutti Fruity and Stinky Socks ones, sometimes they look a lot like Birthday Cake and Dirty Dishwasher. The base bean is supposed to be pink, but sometimes it's, it goes much closer to the white side of things. So I'm like, I, I'm like, Birthday Cake or Dirty Dishwasher, and then I'm eating it and I'm like, why does this taste like minty bubblegum? It's because it's Tutti Fruity. So it's, yeah, it's a little bit kind of weird. Um, Booger and Juicy Pear take a while to kick in. Juicy Pear is tasty. I really, really like it. Um, but booger kind of tastes sort of like dirt. And there is a grainy taste. I know it's, I know grainy is a texture. I understand. But there is also such a thing as a grainy taste, at least to my taste buds. And the grainy taste of the, the booger bean, which is dirt flavored to me, the grainy taste of that is really similar to the grainy taste of the very start of pear. So I have to let that one develop a bit more 
which I often regret. So, <laughs> I yeah, there's, it's a, uh, and spoiled milk and coconut. The coconut flavor is so, um, to begin with is really, really subtle. And so you kind of like, hang on, is this coconut? And then you chew it another time and then you chew it another time and then you're like, oh no, spoiled milk, bleh. So it's, yeah, they're kind of, some of them are really awkward. Some of them are really awkward. Um, there's be at least 12 more people in the room having contributed. Yeah, it costs you nothing. Yes, the Shah Farm community challenge. Uh, I do two streams in a row, so Wednesday and Friday. And in those two streams, I'm going to run through all 50, that's 5-0, of my characters against Shah in the hopes of getting them out. Um, so if you want that to happen, if you want me to suffer through that, uh, little purple campfire underneath chat, click that, there's a banner, and you can contribute from there. I do have Jira unlocked, by the way. Uh, I do, but not all of them. I've only got, like, the first step of the Jira unlocked, I believe. Why do you ask? Most of us a bit of bad bean fluid three. Don't particularly be a little off. Put in for the huge challenge yet. Are you waiting again? I like even plain popcorn, putting butter on it myself. Agreed. Very tasty. Also no licorice fan. Popcorn flavoured beans, yeah. They're just they're kinda there's mmm, something's a little weird. Something's a little off. Uh licorice is definitely unfavorable. Hey Josh, thank you so much for the congrats. Grainy boogers. I know, it's just it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Wonderful and delightful. Okay, um, I think we've spoken enough about the beans. I should probably eat another bean. So this one is going to be either good or not good. I can't actually tell. Um, there's, it's a white bean, but there's no markings on this at all whatsoever. So I have no idea what this is going to be. Consume. It hasn't happened for me yet. Yeah, I imagine it like it makes it able to be done, but it's still a super rare drop. Uh no comment. Cheeky. Cheeky dump chuck on fire Lego. No! I don't want it. I want a yummy one. I want a yummy one. Maybe after these beans are done, we should put the chicken nugs in the air fryer. Oh my god, why is this taking so long? This one yummy one. I hope this one's yummy. Are you you're not actually um you're not actually predicting, are you X? Nuggies? No no next one? Okay. That was rotten egg. I'm trying to I'm trying to get the flavor without getting the flavor. It was rotten egg. <clears throat> I think this is going to be coconut or spoiled milk. So yum is coconut, yuck is spoiled milk. Yum. Raging mood is my favorite because it's either mad or super sign. Yeah! <laughs> so good, right? Sheba has done some absolutely amazing emotes. Can I let go? Hope so. Both suck, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. We do actually have a few new emotes. I should probably, um...
Okay. <laughs> so good. Oh, why is that window so big? Should be. Right, there was. There was. Whoops. Why are you whoopsing, Jazz? What have you done? <laughs> There's a lot of tempting stuff, right, Guz? Oh my god. If you want any, like, help or advice, please ask. I would love to be able to help. Like, it, they're, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. We, um, we usually do, like, a three month shop. Uh, because Jazz and I, we both love bubble tea, and we'll usually have one. Not so, we, we were having one literally every day for a while there, but we've turned it back to like once a stream, like once each, every stream day, so like four days a week. There's still a lot of servings, uh, and we'll order three months of supplies at a time, which ends up being like a four to five hundred dollar order each time. Uh, <laughs> but it's a hell of a lot cheaper than buying it from the shops, and it is it is something that I genuinely love so, so much. Um, and it, it's it's a comfort food, you know? So yeah, it's uh, yeah. Say that before. Well, I mean, recently, just enjoy just chilling. Oh yay, Josh! I'm so pleased to hear that. Thank you for the kind words. Uh, right, we had a prediction, and then I got distracted. So here is the bean. That coconut. It's like, it's like the bean is either coconut milk or spoiled milk flavor. So the first thing you get when you bite into it is milk. And then you gotta kind of let wait for a bit for it to dissolve to see whether it turns to coconut or spoiled. Like it's, yeah. It's a time. You did tell me X, you did tell me. Good job, good call. Now can you say the next one's gonna be good too? Your paladin, look you! <laughs> I'm not a paladin. Uh... Correct. Correct. Oh my god. You. What? But I fucking I, oh, I just I just what ah Phoenix thank you so much for the biddies much appreciated so generous of you thank you <laughs> you should wear his family because I'd like the clip ah sixty senior friends ah success has been a thrill to enjoy it and even though I'm still time, so glad to at least attempt to be encouraging and kind. Aw, oh, thank you, Landa. Much appreciated. Really hoping Heartbreaker would drop on a pally. Yeah, I have a feeling. I have a feeling a few people were. Just saying. I think that's... This. Look, I just uh... give me a minute. You play, you've seen it. 
Ever? Yeah, it's in the fucking Boss Mods channel. <laughs> ah, <that's laughs> yeah. <good. laughs> You've seen it, noob. I thought it was more than no, 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 no. <laughs> Shiba lol jazz. <laughs> I mean, it's good plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Baby. Do, 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 do. Dude, we could gather a full pallet party. Yeah, we didn't end up having a full five man party of paladins in the end. It's time for Goop to drop. Surely, 881 casts. Like, come on. Come on. Um. Alright, so I need to. Can I do bulk? Hello. Okay, have fun. Oh, is that? No, that's the air purifier that I need. Are we doing lunch soon? Hey, thank you. Like lunch. It's on my list. <laughs> it's on Yori's list to do. On Yori's to do list. Lunch. All right, it's early. Yeah, two thirty-three p.m. Guys are gonna flip. Guys are gonna flip. He's excited. Excited. What's happening? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Strange goop dropping, hopefully. Half because the saying is uh, drug fuck shaver bean. No, no dump truck. Brisbane River flavored bean. You immediately just fall over dead. Thank good lord. No. Uh, this one. Ah. <laughs> uh. I love keeping you guys on edge like this. It's so much fun. So much fun. Right, and then I think it's... This one. I think there was... Just count. Good. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Let us start with... Uh, this one. Oh no! Did it not work? Do I have to refresh? I might have to refresh. Did it work? I can't see. I can see on my phone. It worked? Perfect. It didn't on my screen. I think it's because I have to reset and refresh the thingy. Um, but I don't wanna, so. <laughs> there you go, I can see it with X using it. Brilliant. What do you think? What do you think? It's adorable. Good. So that one is inspired by uh, my Udi. Inspired by the, the fl I'm not sure you can say it, it's off camera, but it's um, the beautiful fluffer. Of course, all of these were drawn by the incredibly talented Shibasu. Absolutely adorable. But was the Udi? It is, it is. It isn't um, like the design, there is a design on the Udi, uh, if you get like up close to it. Um, the design is not the same as mine because copyright, <laughs> but it's close enough. It's exactly what I wanted. 
Um, all of these are exactly what I was after. They're just, they're so well done. So beautifully done. Um, so we're going to push that button. And then... Then, I feel like this one might get a bit of use. Perfect. I've got my chat open on my phone. Um, uh, that's level one. I'm trying to make 2D work, avoiding copyright. Oh my god, it didn't work out so well. Yeah, no, it's perfect, Shiva. It is absolutely perfect. Perfection. Um, these I've got in all at level one at the moment. I have enough level one slots that we can just kind of go ham. Um, if we get to the point where we've got ideas and we don't have slots, then we'll start having conversations about where we want to shuffle things around and stuff like that. But um, it does work, Jas. You might have to refresh the page. But it works on my end, and everyone else's is working too. Like, I can see both of yours. Yep, so there you go. You have a kappa. Not only do you have a kappa. What's the next one? What's the next one? <laughs> Merry belated Christmas, yeah! <laughs> Uh, Death, Zam, Thor, congratulations on your bonus shit. Who got skins? Who got skins? Tell us if you got a skin from your chest. Yes, we have Fiamapog. <clears throat> That's odd. I think they all just got wiped. Give me a sec. Oh no, there we go. It got fixed. The page had to go and refresh itself. Can I place my Orc Slayer? Yes. Did I get any range kills? No. Good. Mm, not for you. So glad you're all enjoying the Me Too, Shiva. Me Too. It's like, it's like the kind of, are they, are they going to like it? Yep. Yep. <clears throat> hey, yeah, worth the wait. Good. Good. Uh, and then we have, I did adjust the word for this one a little bit. Shiba, just because I thought it might be a little bit easier because one of the words is a little bit difficult to spell sometimes. So this one. <laughs> Long awaited. <laughs> Valid, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you were okay with that. Um, Cause yeah, it is absolutely colander, but colander is not always an easy word to spell. And it's also not a word that's used in all regions like different people call it different things so I thought brain might be better because we talk about my brain being a colander so there you go <laughs> Fiamma Segu <laughs> Fiamma hat would have worked too yeah but that doesn't convey why I'm wearing the hat I think it's my new fave good I'm glad um I've got two more but I'm thinking these ones because these aren't really going to make a whole lot of sense elsewhere. Follower emotes. So, do we work probs? I mean, probably. Because we love our spreadsheets. <laughs> I love that too. <laughs> spreadsheet nerd exactly that's the thing like it's it's brilliant right it's beautiful and it's awesome and it's and it's just so simple but it's effective as hell but i'm not sure that it'd make a whole lot of sense elsewhere because not every everyone would be like why why is it a heart like what's the why is it sheet like do you know what i mean it might not make so much sense to people who aren't as spreadsheet oriented um as as some of us are I did, I actually, I did a bunch of sketches. Like I have, actually, do I have it here still? I do, I had a bunch of sketches. You're probably not gonna be able to see it because it's on white paper. Um, but I had a bunch of little sketches. I'm like, I don't know how it's gonna work, but like, here are some ideas in my head. And she was like, I can do that. Um, and so he ran with it and I'm loving it. Having trouble choosing a fave. It's because they're all amazing, Meaty. Now, I think I have a feeling though, which one, like, We've got one more to go. This is the last one, and there's a reason I left it to last. 
This is also a follower emo because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense anywhere else. <laughs> yes! Yes! Exactly. So we have a coass emote. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Def my fave besides Super Saiyan Fear. Brilliant. I'm glad you like it. So you like him then, guys. That's that's good. Or at least the Koas, indeed, right? So thank you so much to Shiva, who I'm like, okay, to be clear, I paid Shiva. Except for I think that I think the Kappa one was gifted. I think that was one that somebody else paid Shiva for. It might have been X. I'm not hundred percent I can't read, it's a while ago. Um, I brain. Colinda, Fiamma brain. Good, yes. Um, <laughs> indeed, perfect. There you go. So, but like these have all been paid for. Um, what I am thanking Shiba for is for being such an incredible part of this community and for working through a whole bunch of crap to, to get these done and, and to me. A while ago, I might add, this is not like there is a delay because of me. I mean, look. They came through and then my life went to crap, so <laughs> it's just been a fun time all round. Um, but they are they are just beautiful and they represent this community so, so well. And I'm so happy with the work that you've provided and I am I'm so grateful uh, that you allow me to keep commissioning you because <laughs> your work is wonderful. Should I do this to me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll stop. I'll finish there. Donation colander I gave you. Oh, that's right. Yep. Yeah. That's right. And I appreciate it. Appreciate it deeply. Hello, Shiba. Yas. Yeah. Love the shapes. <laughs> yeah. So if you want any of those on a shirt, let me know. Uh <laughs> I mean, any, honestly, any of any of our emotes, if you want any of those on a product, please let me know um, because I can, I can fiddle with the merch store and uh, upload some more fun things and uh, we can get that going. We have Shiba hug emote. Ooh, like a third one. We could, potentially, if Shiba was okay with that. Some feedback for you in Discord. Uh oh. No, you. Okay, firstly, that is IP protected. I can't use that as an emote. What is the. Um, hang on. I mean, because we have Fiamma mod with, with Jas wielding a sword. We could, we could, we could do a fear holding a glowing yellow hammer in a similar position. And definitely not call it Fiamma Paladin. <laughs> oh dear. Love that idea. Perfect. Make it a follower emote so you lot can't use it anywhere else. <laughs> Good idea, is it, case Yeah. Ah, oh, Sheeps with some pain on his face, hugging a papa. Sheeps is it, so a puppy holding a uh, hugging a puppy. Yeah. So I don't lose it. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sheeps. I'm sure you're like. I'm guessing you can't write it down. Like, like Fiamma mod. But fear and yellow hammer. Like, is that... I'm guessing it's not enough. I'm so sorry for distracting you from whatever you're doing. Oh, Jesus Christ. How many free emotes slots do I even have? We've got three... Three follower emotes left. Eight tier one. Two tier two and two tier three. Uh, and then four animated emotes. Because um, Shiba's not an animator. Um, which is totally fine. Please be aware. Totally fine. Um, but not a... 
uh, and I haven't been able to put uh, cash together to commission some animated ones because pay their art, pay your artists, like pay people what they're worth. Too really easy to have it visually. Fair, fair. Just hope it doesn't interrupt whatever you're doing too much. I feel bad. <laughs> oh, and then shit, and then there's all the bits ones, the bits tiers. So we've got um, guns at 1,000 bits. So if you cheer 1,000 bits, you forever have that unlocked. Uh, and there's one at 5k, 10k, 25k, 50k, 75k, 100k, 200k, 300k, 400, 500, and 600k. So there's 11 more that I can put in there. The reason it goes up so high is because I have one person who has cheered 500k in the past. And so it has that one plus the next one for people to be able to unlock. Um, but, uh, not, like, th that one person is the only one at the 500, 400, 300, and 200 thing magic. I've got three at 100k. I don't know who they are, but, yeah. Yeah, so we do, we actually have a decent amount of slots left. <clears throat> oh, someone has said- oh crap, I was still trying to look at this suggestion for this gift. Oops. Um... I've got another suggestion on my- on my wish list. Um... we have gems. I didn't have any That's okay. Totally, totally okay. We have nugs and gems that are entirely too bright because the daylight still exists and we hate that. Is this for spitting out more beans into <laughs> I'm kidding. Why don't I... Uh, I mean, if I've got a fork, I can just put sauce all over these. Alright, here you, you go. Take I'll take back. this back. Yeah, a few dishes. Thank you. Do you okay, want bye. the sauce back? Oh, okay. <laughs> Taters! Yeah, potato gems. Tater tots, as uh, some may call them. And we barbecue sauce them up. Woo! What if me to sleep, I think. Oh, Jack, do you need to move outside of it? No, indeed, Jess had it so more than likely as a fork moist. Uh, doesn't seem to be. Doesn't seem to be. Okay, what am I doing here? Not much well. He's drying his hands lately. It's kind of awesome. It's gracious. is 15 inches. Bad. Let's go 
strange group, let's go! Clap, clap, clap. I know, right? 936 casts. This is ridiculous. You mean Kappa, Pog? I'm so glad that you are using these. <laughs> Get me my money's worth, guys. <laughs> you moist the fork real quick. Oh dear. And what we're measuring. Ah, uh, a neon sign. I have uh, a suggestion for my wish list. That's a uh, custom Twitch username, neon sign, Twitch neon light, custom gamer tag, neon LED sign for Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, gaming decoration. So clearly it's not from Etsy, but it's actually from uh, Wish. Uh. <laughs> Oh, actually, this isn't... I'm not going to be able to do this via throne. Because there's communication required. So you've got to send through, like, your name and stuff, but then they design it and send it back to you for approval, and throne won't take that. They'll, they'll ignore it. Um, so unfortunately, I can't put that on the wish list. Um, bugger! <clears throat> Okay. All right, I'm gonna have to reject that. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't know who this was because they haven't popped their name on the the thing jig, but I'm I'm really sorry. That's a brilliant uh, idea, but I can't unfortunately. Throne won't do the back and forth. Seller. Fialid in the ones like good lord. Hmm. Just over twenty three k to go. Oh my gosh, we're so close, you guys. Are we gonna do that today? Is that gonna be done today? Do you reckon? <clears throat> Wish sus. Um, I'm just link through forearm though. Um, it was about yeah, roughly. Around about. Um, does anyone know how long in-game mail takes if it's not to yourself? Usually, only send mail to my alts. Yeah, one hour unless you're in a guild together or unless um it's your own character, then it's instant. Um, I have unread mail from the auction house, but uh, that's that's it. I have so many lost souls. <laughs> like the fish. Uh, 945 casts. This is fine. Actually, while I've still got food here, let's do this last bean. Yeah, that was that's a fantastic idea with the neon sign. Um, maybe once I move. Maybe once I go home to Melbourne, I can uh, housewarming present. Put up a donation goal for a housewarming. Um, all right, here we go. Yum or yuck? Uh, chocolate pudding or canned dog food? Yes, yes, it will. If Seek has anything to do with it, love it. Dump truck bean Lego. No, I don't want a dog. I don't want a dog food one. They're really icky. Let's say donation goal. Not for a while, Landa. Not for a while. The um the because um someone suggested to my throne wish list a uh, a Fiamma neon sign with like the twitch logo and stuff that could go up on the wall which would be amazing and super cool uh but unfortunately the etsy seller um you place your order and then they design it and send it to you for your approval and stuff and throne won't manage that all they do is buy something and ship it to you they won't go back and forth with that kind of thing um so yeah um unfortunately it won't that won't work but maybe i can maybe i can do something like that when uh when I eventually move home and we can uh, we can design a background, get a stream room and put shelves and put pretty things on the shelves and put the lights up and all that kind of stuff. It's gonna be kind of fun, wouldn't it? Uh, 500 cars might be enough for now for me. Fair, fair. All right, what do people think? Ah, oh. okay, okay, okay.
delightful. Uh, is Jas moving with you? At the moment, I presume so. Um, but we've, we've talked about it and he would like to move to Melbourne. Uh, but that will be his call to make when I start actually making plans. Though. When I start sitting down and going, okay, this is the date that I'm moving. Um, he'll have to decide whether or not he comes with me or, uh, or doesn't. That'll be his choice when we get there. At this point, it's a long way off. Um, I have to finish off my dentistry at the very least, and that's not going to be finished until like August, September, October, somewhere around that. And then um, once that's done, then I'll have to start looking at what I can actually afford and what I can do and all that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, it's not for a while yet. <laughs> Dump truck. Try to be optimistic. I like that, Kay. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you, Lando. Optimistic for dog food. Look you. Look you. Occasionally because of the economy. Good. I like it. Wonderful. Uh, that is my bottle empty. I still have 30 hydrates in Q, X. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> it is. It is. Stay there. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I'll have to Another go. Another hydrate. Fill it up soon. to say grats on the drop. I think doodle in my chat. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Oh my god, that's fantastic. Oh, that's so good. <clears throat> That's awesome. Alright. <clears throat> Jar of happiness time. 966 casts and no strange group. Should I go for later? Of course, of course. Alrighty. Yeah, I've only got one. get a few people entering I reckon. A few people out of luck. Okay. This giveaway is for a Logitech G733 headset in white. So it's this headset that I'm wearing. It has a plug-inable microphone as well. It is wireless. It's very light. Very comfortable. The headband at the top is adjustable. Uh, it's awesome. I like it quite a bit. Uses a USB receiver, of course, like most things do. 
Um, this one is lilac. The one that is up for grabs is white. So it's slightly different to what I've got, but same sort of thing. <laughs> so comfortable they are. They're wonderful. Return in a bit. See you soon, Shiva. Behave. I think they're gonna behave because they want the giveaway. Um, alright, so. This one uh, is is from Logitech. Um, I don't have it here to show you because they have it in their offices and they will be sending it directly to the winner. Because of that, this is region locked to Australia only. I'm sorry. I, I like I can't afford uh, to to purchase these myself just yet and, and send them internationally. So uh, this one is Australia only as that's been that's what's set by by Logitech. Uh, but this is, uh, yeah, this is what we're doing. G733 in white, Australia only. Uh, you need to be following to be able to enter. Exclamation giveaway. Gets your name in the draw. You've got two minutes. Mm, where does mine break you? <laughs> Makes me think of when I have a migraine. Oh, no. Luck, indeed. Only Australia comes first. No, it's just because I'm affiliated with Logitech, Logitech G Australia. Um, that is the company that I'm affiliated with. Logitech has actually different companies in each region. Uh, and the specific company that I'm affiliated with is the Australian branch. So um, that's what they do. Um, so obviously I will need your shipping address if you win this. That shipping address will be passed along to my contact at Logitech so that they can ship you your goodie, your, your headset. Um, <laughs> broken by the day. Oh no, Yuri. Oh no. Less than a minute left to enter. Must be following. Must be an Australian shipping address. Oh, that's why I said it like seven times. Because <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. That's all good. Um, uh, when I when I draw a name, I will confirm with the person that they do indeed have an Australian shipping address. And uh, we'll go from there. Entries have stopped for the giveaway. I'm going to have one more. Hello, Jim. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Ali. Do you have an Australian shipping address? Is everything about my headset? Oh no! <laughs> That's okay, fairy. All good. <laughs> so I take it by the oh my god that you do, yeah? Okay, good. <laughs> Congratulations. You've won a headset. Um, I will be in contact with you after stream or potentially tomorrow morning, like depending on how I'm feeling. Uh, and I'll grab your information and shoot it off to Logitech so they can send it to you. It will come from directly from them. Uh, it won't be from me. Um, and uh, I think they're in Sydney, so they shouldn't be affected by the floods or anything. But, you know, we'll see how we go. Mm. <laughs> mm, congrats indeed. Gonna hide the headset from you. Happy to. Most well deserved holy donut. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. Congratulations. Tomorrow morning is after stream. Yeah, I know. I know. But so is like three years from now. So I just I want to make sure that people know that I'm not gonna forget about you. I just like self care will be first priority. Like if I am really bloody tired, I'm going to go straight to bed. 
but I absolutely will get your prizes to you. Um, I just, like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, I know, like, the regulars here, I get, I get it, but, um, the, like, there have been a couple of times where I haven't sent something, like, immediately, and I've had people DMing me, like, literally three times an hour asking, have you sent it, have you sent it, have it, like, so, yeah, it's just to be, I want to be as open and as clear with everyone as possible that, like, my self-care, like, taking care of myself, making sure I don't get sick again, all that kind of stuff is, like, number one priority. But getting people their prizes is absolutely the number two priority. 100%. Ah, <laughs> uh, my belly's now higher than a bit. Okay, oh, there you go! There you go. He's not a paladin to see, apparently he's now. Ah, <laughs> there you go. There you go. Mm. Oh, so good, Ali. I'm so glad that you're excited. That's wonderful news. But, what was that? Five giveaways down. Seven to go. Seven still left to go. I've been fishing for five hours, I just realized. God damn it. Okay, this is fine. I'm gonna fall off my chair when it drops. <clears throat> Only five hours, can't wait for sure. Look. Five hours of fishing. I know, I know. No, the um so Sha is the big angry thing in the place that looks kinda yellow. And he spawns every ten to twenty minutes and he drops him out. That's what Sha is. Zam, Koala, Meaty, Channel, and Fairy. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Oh. Wrong boss chest. Oh well. The M&A's. <clears throat> Figured it out. Now I gotta place Centurions. Good, okay. Um, the Orc Slayer is on cooldown. Centurion. There we go. <clears throat> Uh, so oh, well done. I hope she's okay. Uh, it's nothing to me. I'm trying to explain in like... So, I don't know. Thanks for the description. You're very welcome. The mount that Shah drops is a 1 in 2,000 drop chance. That's probably all you need to know, really. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get to 1,000 and then I'm gonna go refill my water bottle. <laughs> I feel like that's an appropriate time to take a stretch your legs break. Because I haven't moved from this spot in five hours, so, you know. Am I actually going to spend 12 hours fishing? Pretty quick with 50 to look. Maybe. Maybe it'll drop on the first one. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Hmm. <clears throat> Still better chances in the lottery. Correct. Correct. Nine eighty eight. Oh, this is making me really sad. I'm guessing you got yours, Jack. 
Oh, free for all. Oh. I want to think of what number of temp you're on now. 990. <clears throat> now what you win it? Look. I don't want to use my luck up there. I want the luck in game to get this goop. 991. Ninety two. And ninety three. Nine ninety four. Oh, my God, Jack is on seventeen hundred and sixteen. Oh, good Lord. I'm so sorry. Ninety five, and ninety six, and ninety seven. Yeah, <laughs> oh, X. Ninety-nine. One thousand. No strange group. Uh, I'm gonna go refill my water bottle and take these dishes back to the kitchen. I will be back. Ah, oh, well done, Angel! Congratulations! First time winning as well. Well done. You gotta be. Run away, little girl.
storm. Like Chan needs a non-seasonal garb, a hat maybe. With your Burger King crown. Down under its hungry jacks. It is, yeah. It is still the king and you can still get a paper crown. Okay, here we go again. Thank you very much for the welcome back. Thousand and one. <laughs> How do we make that happen? Maybe find a hat that you want on Amazon AU and suggest it by a throne. Maybe. You might be able to get the um, Hungry Jack's crowns on Amazon. Your one singular coin, Zam. If I can fish up the tree before my rarity bar turns green. I get that far really fast. <laughs> yeah, my rarity's bar my rarity bar is green now. <clears throat> I would like for it to not turn yellow. I'm pretty sure I'm in the unlucky realm for this now. Strange troop, yep, unlucky. Good. Do you know the rest? <laughs> when we bring you victory, don't hate healing DKs, I just don't heal them until they run out of buff. Oh, right, okay, I see. Yeah, but your DK, the DK that you're in a group with, Jas, isn't playing, like, isn't using the abilities that they're meant to use to keep themselves alive. 
exactly 13%. Yeah, mine's at 53.14. Ah, uh, runic power is RP. <clears throat> Death Knights have runes that they draw power from, so they call it runic power. More sense. Good, good. Oh no! Ah, oh, Zim. It is finally starting to punish you for it. Oh, <clears throat> Where is my strange group? This is unusual. I'm really out of RP DQ, makes me sad. Oh no! Three hundred and fifty-four thousand channel points contributed to the Shaw Farm streams. That is unbelievable. That is incredible. Sneak man, everybody's great. Not gonna lie. oof. Black and white emotes. Yep. So if you have, I'm not sure if it's available at. Um, it might be only available at the upper tiers. I think it's tier 2 and tier 3 have edits that they can make. <clears throat> yeah, at tier 2, you gain the ability to turn your emotes black or white. And then at tier 3, you get the ability to put sunglasses on an emote or put the, like, the thinking thing. Um, I can actually change those. Uh, I have a couple of options. So you can make them black and white. You can put sunglasses on them, you can put the thinking hand, you can flip them horizontally, or you can squish them vertically. Um, but I figured, I felt like the squishing and the flipping wasn't quite as fun uh, as the sunglasses and the thinking, and then black and white, or like, yeah, making it grayscale at tier 2. But yeah, they're, um, if you're a tier 2 or a tier 3 sub, uh, I believe that's in your, like, you can alter an emote if you'd like, and it creates like a... I think it creates a double up of it. <clears throat> mm. Is that good? Good. Um. Get deaf guy here. Hello, killer. Welcome in. Eleven people, eleven people to contribute max, please, indeed, indeed. 358k, oh my god, we're so close. So close. Ah, the sunglasses on the cozy emote, oh gosh. They actually line up really, really well. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. So modify an emote we can buy with embers. Possibly. I think it might be. I think it might be. <clears throat> but I think that the higher tiers can do it for free, like without spending embers. I think that's kind of the, the idea. Yeah. She was now clean Sheba. Yay! Why are you fishing? Uh, there's an item that drops here that starts like a puzzle to get a lure that you can fish up a rare that drops an out. <laughs> it's a whole, it's a whole long length thing. 
But I want them out, basically. Nine more now. My gosh. My gosh. Mountain fishing. There are plenty of mountain fishing. Plenty of mounts in fishing. Quite a few. Um, every X pack is at a fishing mount. Twitch has image processing to try to detect eyes for the sunglasses. No, really, really? Because I thought, because the one for the um the drinking one doesn't quite line up properly. Like it doesn't squish the sunglasses down to kind of fit it or anything. It just sort of sticks them on the image. Interesting. Let's close. That's the last for a full day after you spend embers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that one. The Fiamma drink underscore SG. <laughs> so, let's say drink always. I still have 30-something redemptions. 32 now. 33. Shh, just, like, calm yourself. Hmm. Hard to fishing for death. I can imagine. If you find somewhere nice and open, they do actually they do have a physical movement that you can see as well. Um, there are also some add-ons that will, like, flash on the screen when it happens so that you can see it rather than hear it. Um, but I'm not sure, because I've not had to use them myself, I'm not sure what those ones are called, but I have been told. Uh, you might even be able to find a weak aura that would do it, like when there's a splash, just make the screen kind of blink or something. And extra redeeming hydro. I mean, I could turn the redemptions off completely. Ideas. <laughs> uh, have ad for that. I'm sure that they probably do. So there's in game. Uh, what's it? Maybe it's not a toy. There's a there's a, a bobber thing you can get from. There's a fishing vendor that makes the bobber really, really big. Like this player here. <laughs> um, so you can see the splash a lot easier. Um, I don't know what it's called. I'm trying to find. Fishing vendor next to the fountain in New Dalaran, so that's Legion Dalaran. 
uh, sells an item that triples slash quadruples the size of the bubba, so it's like really, really big, much more noticeable. Um, apparently, the API can't gather the data. So there isn't a thing, not even a weak aura to make it flash, but there is obviously things that can make it a little easier to do. There's a lot of discussion about how it's needed, but it, it just isn't. Um, but yeah, the really, really big bobbers will make it a lot easier to see. Just don't have it so I can't show you it because it's not a toy it's something you purchase an item and then you use the item um, so unfortunately I can't show you it but if there's someone nearby who ends up having it because I did see one earlier today it was a really big bobber but they don't seem to be here anymore but yeah that should make it at least a bit easier to see then because it makes it hella big like it makes it as big as pocket pock so <laughs> Yeah. This much of a 15k to go. I'm going to have some after drink a little bit somewhere. Oh, no way! That's hilarious, Jack. Seven and a bit more legends in the room. Wait, the goal for the hour finishes. Already contributed 28 minutes. <laughs> Oh, I don't have that, I think. Goodbye, it's not last. Too tiny, it said I made me fall asleep. Yeah, so it literally quadruples the size of the bobber. It makes it enormous. It makes it so that it's very easy to see. Um, do you rotate my camera? Bobba comes to the camera, I can see it better. Yeah, you can You can move it around and stuff. You can also, like, zoom in. If it's too, like, that makes it bigger on the screen. And then if, if it's um the giant bobber, it would go from there until to about here, so it makes it quite a large, like, bobber like this on the screen. So it might be much easier to see. Um, quite a few accessibility uh, features for WoW that need to happen. Uh, there are a lot that are already in-game as well. Like, credit where credit is due, they do have a lot of options for accessibility. Especially now that they've introduced controller, um, capabilities. Yeah. Uh, the tugboat, easy to see. Uh, post on the WoW forums. Like, in in the suggestions, I think they've got a suggestions one, or somewhere, let them know that you're a disabled player, that you're deaf, and that you need an, a, you need a feature to be able to, to do the thing. Like, the more that people are vocal about it, and on the, in, through the appropriate forums, for example, the official forums, the more people who can contribute voices to that chorus, the more likely they are to, to pay attention and to, to see it. You know what I mean? It's like, there's a lot of communication about this kind of stuff on all sorts of different places, but when, if we can, if we can actually focus all that onto a forum post and get all these people focused on a forum post and that gathers enough traction, it's difficult for them to ignore something like that. Even if they don't, like, implement it immediately, because I imagine it would take quite a bit of back-end work to make that happen. Uh, especially since add-ons can't pull that information currently, right? So, at least they can acknowledge it and say, we understand that this is an issue, this is what we would like to do, and this is what we're going to do to implement that. It may take time, but this is what we're working on. Like, that's, you know, something, right? Uh, Oversized Bobber is the name of them, can be found in many fishing vendors. Perfect! Uh, I just need eight more people to donate max embers. Phenomenal. So you can't put in a UI hook for fishing. It'll just make fishing bots more rampant than ever. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, submit a suggestion in game from the support section. You can. You can also do that. Um, posting it on the forums though gives a whole lot. Of, like you don't get a response from the from the suggestion box in game. If you have a whole lot of people converging on a singular forum post, it can make it a lot louder, it can make it a lot more obvious, and it's something that you can send to people and say, hey, this is where I'm talking about it, let them know your feelings too, and then that can grow and grow and grow, and again, if it gains enough traction, it's something public-facing that's a lot harder to ignore than, you know, however many hundred thousand suggestion thingies. There's a, there's a place for them to respond appropriately as well. 
I can have temporary as my bubba. Personal forums plus more people agreeing is more visible. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> and it gives them a really convenient alley to to say, you know, this is where we're going to make our response as well. We're going to reply to this thread. Yeah. Highly suggest posting. Like, absolutely suggest put a suggestion in through like in game, uh, but highly recommend going through uh, the forums and stuff as well. Hmm. I'm on 1,065 attempts, by the way. If I actually hit 1333, I'm going to be just really sad. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be really sad. Okay. Yeah, I am aware. But that's a 1 in 2,000. This is not that much. Doesn't feel so bad anymore. You had a command for that too. Ugh. Oh. We have so many commands, my lord. <laughs> it's not too bad. Like, if we get it within the attempts, like within the 1333, three, three, then it's fine, right? It's fine. I'm starting to feel like even if I did a full fishing stream, I wouldn't get everything crossed off. Thor, Channel, and Solstice, congratulations on your bonus shits. The second trial of. Officially, the second trial of. Good. Uh, we're gonna go buy tokens and buy the skin chest. We're taking the north path. Uh, I went almost exactly 1333. Three, three. That makes me feel better. We're almost there. Or above I love it. Isn't it great, Shiva? This is closer to 1 in 2k. Uh, no, Rarity said 1 in 1,333. Which is why I, like, lost it. Because I'm like, are you kidding? Straight after Heartbreaker, this is what you do to me. I was very upset. Very upset. <clears throat> They might have updated it though, I could be wrong. Yeah, one in three, 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 three. And I was putting rarity. Ah, uh, gotcha. Are uh, you telling me I can't complain until I get to 10k attempts? No. I said, I'm not going to complain until I get to a certain point. Nothing to do with your behavior, Midi. You can do whatever you like. Entirely up to you. She gives an age of 75k each. Oh, you flipped them. My gosh. Oh, good lord. So the bone fishing pole is one that drops from fishing supplies. So I'm guessing that that's, you gotta go and do fishing dailies, yeah? So all of our fishing, 
Thunder Bluff fishing. It's under city fishing. Oh, uh, main city fishing. Why is that different to... Oh, really? Okay, and so you go through that, and then you do the thing. And then... That's Thunder Bluff. And then that's Thunder City. And that's it. Okay, so... Let's mark that one. Because I'd need to do that on probably 50 tunes. Uh, <laughs> Some Dell fishing dailies. The fishing dailies. So where is this person? This must be in the garrison. Does that drop from that though? City. Under Bluff. Or Grammar. Okay, and then the pack of fishing supplies. Right, so that is Rui Garrison. Okay. So I go through the garrison. The daily for today. Okay, so that's all that that one does. And there's the Dow ones. What do the Dalaran fishing dailies get you? <laughs> so I have to stop and go do something else if I hit that? Is that what you're saying, Yuri? Okay, so the bone fishing pole only comes from the fishing shack and then Sparkling pool. Okay. It's a vendor. Uh. Pick on islands. That's from a rare. It's dropped from deep. Okay. Buy that from Nat Pagel. Uh, lucky coins, of course, which will take a million miles to pop up, but that's okay. And then that's from, uh, that's a vendor. Or a boss. And that's more lucky coins. Those two have fished up. Herring school. That one is just <laughs> can be caught in schools or open water in Northrend. It'd be a one in frickin' three thousand drop chance. Ah oh dear. It's my rubby lucky earrings. 
rubbing the lucky earrings. We're in here calling all half people. <laughs> so like children's, if you are, please don't. You need to be 13 to have a Twitch account. Uh, <laughs> 362k, my goodness. My goodness. It's amazing when you think like you've got everything you possibly can for a particular profession, then you're like, oh, okay, probs not. Oops. Certainly quite interesting. I'm still missing stuff from archaeology. I really don't want to. But, um, I am. And I think they're all just, um... I've ha I... What? I could have sworn I had those already. I must have deleted them. Oops. Red Drop in Northrend. Ah, uh, the Dustbringer. Dustbringer, it's a dagger. Can be caught in schools or open water in Northrend. Five? Five what? Thanks, Knight. Look, I hope. Oh, what are you? Are you counting down to 2k? Oh no. Oh no. Ah, oh, dearie me. Thirty-seven of the precursor placoderms. Oh, Jack. So sorry, Jack. Two thousand casts. No group. Nine more minutes. Can we do it? Nine more minutes before the turn of the hour, and Seeker would like to get the Shah Farm community challenge completed. Can we do it? of 2k free points have not contributed. Look, I reckon probably. I'm only really missing four illusions. missing four illusions. That doesn't feel right. These ones that I can't use? Is 
There's only three that I'm missing in here. That's really interesting. Maybe it doesn't show flames a rag. Unless you're, um, yeah, because it said those other three. So Winter Veil has to be active. Nearly three quarters of all mounts. That's kind of cool. According to ATT. According to DFA, I've got a fair few less than that. I think it's because I've got um, the. It's not on account mode. Just go live on Saturdays. Exactly. Uh, no worries, Jack. Thanks so much for keeping me company. And I'm so sorry you hit 2000. I'm so, so sorry. bathroom again. <laughs> There's been more. Oh, Seeker. Far out. That is dedication. No, stop X. I've still got 20 something left. The animated panic one I can't add because that animation has been done automatically by Twitch and I can't download the animated thing, I don't think. Um, I don't think I can download that GIF. Uh, so that might be a little... That one might stay missing. Uh, but yeah, the rest of them I can. Rounding off your embers. Can't you wait until they round up? Go to the bathroom, BRB.
bank, it's giveaway time. Where is the magic jar of happiness? Uh. <laughs> Should Def needs HJ crown? Noted, noted. Most supportive member of his community. Indeed, Mints, indeed. <clears throat> yeah, oh, bugger. This is just fun to push with it. 96%. Holy cow. Ah, Che doesn't have any embers. Be the day, the first few minutes of stream. I mean, we've still got six hours of stream left, Seeker. This is a 12 hour. Alrighty. Chosen a larger jar. This one. One. Good. What's this? <laughs> Two in a row. Fantastic. It's another piece from Logitech. This time around, we have the Logitech G305 mouse in lilac. So it's the same color as my headset. I'm not able to show you. I'm not able to show you the mouse because I don't have a 305 myself. Um, but it is a G305. Let me do a quick... I had all this information in my head and now it's gone. And now it's gone. So... Where are we? It is wireless. And they're, they're very, very pretty. They are very pretty. Uh, they do have two buttons on the side. Scroll wheel, obviously. Um, six fully programmable buttons. The hero sensor. One millisecond report rate. Uh, and it is in... It is in lilac, so it is the same colour as my headset. Uh, it delivers up to 250 hours run to die on just one AA battery. Uh, it can be adjusted to last up to nine months of typical use in endurance mode, which can be selected via the Logitech gaming software, which is what I use to, uh, or is that G-Hub? Different? Maybe. Um, but there is an indicator light that'll notify you when there's 15% battery left, so you can go and organize another battery. Uh, so there you go. Replace my old terrible Dale Mouse. I was waiting for your logic before purchasing. Oh my goodness, Seeker. Fingers crossed. So your streams. This should be racking that you watch this live. Correct. Correct front row seat. Ahaha. Even for your the view. Five and a bit max donations to go. Indeed. All right. So let's reset the giveaway. This is a Logitech. Uh, unfortunately, this one is also region restricted. The Logitech giveaways are Australia only. G305. It is a 305, isn't it? Yep, good. Mouse in lilac. Must be following to win. Must have an Australian shipping address to win. The giveaway is open. Best of luck. Remember, must be following to win, and must have an Australian shipping address, because it'll be shipped directly by Logitech, and they will not ship to anyone outside of Australia, unfortunately. Not at this point, anyway. Maybe in the future. Not at the moment. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 